Unexpectables. We are joined, sadly, by Edward Bosco. Bosco, how are you doing? Wow. Excuse you? I know, right? You know, I'm, what you're supposed for, no, shut your mouth. What you're supposed <laughs> to say is, thank you for being here, sir. Thank you for being here, sir. Bosco, have you lost yet? Have you lost yet? No, I have yeah. not then lost. Fuck so nope, then fuck you. Yes. I don't care. Wow, rude. <laughs> don't be mad at me because I'm better than you. Come on now. Uh, hi, guys. You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter. You can also find me right here at twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Typically playing a lot of sports games. Uh, I recently built a D&D character live on stream, so thank you guys for popping by for that. Uh, trying to figure out what I want to play next. Uh, not not sure. Trying to mix up the sports ball stuff, so throw suggestions at me if you have them over on Twitter. You got what? Together. It was supposed to stream together, and it just never We're supposed to do Portal together. I, oh, yeah. right, Portal. Portal and Jackbox we need to do. Yeah, Portal yeah. Is really good. Jackbox would be fun. Jackbox is Jackbox always fun. Jackbox is such a great yeah. Twitch game. It's such a great Twitch game. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, that's me. You can also find me right here on Takahata Stream for MNW, where, yes, I am still undefeated. Yes, I am still the champion. And, yes, I am still better than you. So thank you guys for tuning in to MNW every time it shows up. Yay, D&D kind of Bosco. Boo, wrestling Bosco. <laughs> no, what do you – first of all, it's boo Sco. you got to say the whole thing. boo eh? Otherwise, it sounds like you're booing me, which doesn't happen. That's good. Uh, no. Connor, how are you doing? Where can they find you? Uh, yeah, sit down, now. Kurt. I am fucking Jesus. tired, and he can tell. Uh, when I'm not, when I'm not in the ring, uh, breaking Bosco's back and making him tap, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake. And you can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I too have my own wrestling show. And we had a goddamn classic match of the year candidate between Laid and uh, Calden Turner. Holy shit, what a match! Also, Easily guys, match of the year candidate. Guys, you could hear when he started, that was the sound of a defeated man. Um, and it's very unfortunate. But he's got some spirit coming back into his life. Gaijin, where can they find you? you? You can find me at Gaijin Kumba with the twitch.tv slash thingy. Um, I said fuck Sekiro. It's not a good game to stream. Whoa! Yeah. Gaijin, it's why would game. you say something so controversial but so brave? Uh, because it's a great game. It's a horrible game to stream. Because the minute you look over a chat, you die. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter if you're fighting a boss. You just the game knows where if you look over at chat, it just instantly kills you. So I'm probably going to be retiring that from stream. Uh, we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, I'm looking at some old like Super Nintendo games it's, to stream, like the old Konami's. It's only game. Why you have Why to? Why you be have to be mad? Oh my God. Anyway, uh, aside <laughs> from that. I am back on schedule to my regular YouTube content. Speaking of Sekiro, it's going to be the very next thing that I talk about in my content. You will not want to miss that. There's some good shit in this game. Again, just terrible for streaming. Speaking of being on a regular streaming schedule, Mr. Zito, where can they find you? Uh, I don't speak whistle or duck. It sounds like he has... That, no, 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 listen. That I, I, My stream has not been regular because I've been doing the adult math and doing taxes for the past two weeks. So um, I am at my lowest point right now. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. But <laughs> the brain cells are not there. I just, I just imagine you, Zito, like you're just wearing your regular outfit, but you're just wearing a tie. Uh, <laughs> he's naked yeah. with a tie. No, uh, he's wearing his normal clothes, but he just has well, a tie on. No, that, no, no. Okay, so... Twitch stream Zito, energy wise, not so much there. But hopefully, oh my god, I, I say hopefully in every time, like a fucking hydra, the taxes come back. Uh, hopefully, this weekend, totally accurate battle simulator came out on early access. So be prepared for characters that flail around in ragdoll physics time, just like how my mental fucking state has been on Thursday. Uh, Friday, God, I have so many games. Probably more Risk of Rain. Probably more, uh, what the fuck? You should I don't... play, you should play. Guys, you brain should, cells, you, brain you, hurt, you, Baba you, is you, you, sure. Brain, fuck, you I should, don't know. You should, you, should play, you should play TurboTax. You are a terrible friend. <laughs> I hear it's got a 9 out of 5 on Metacritic. <laughs> get the... A 9 out of 5? Monty, where can they, our DM extraordinary Monty, good. where can they find you? Hi, um, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where you can see me get kidnapped by plant people. Um, April Fool's was a bit of a venture. I'm okay. 
I owe my dad a new axe, but it's cool. It happens. Dad has um, yeah, fuck that guy. Did Mr. X yeah. take over your Twitter? Oh, no. Uh, uh, Mr. Fleur de Mort did. Oh, sorry. I got uh, excited then. I had to type for them, and it was a little rough, but then, you know, axe and weed killer got a handle. Uh, but now that I'm free, uh, you can find me at Machigo on Twitter, where things will be back to normal. Uh, you can also find me at uh, twitch.tv forward slash Glue. I am playing uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. First time ever played it before. Don't know anything about it except for like the beginning part. I I was angry at a point, and I'm glad I got through it because now the game is fun again. Um, Do you like I'm really that? It. <laughs> it's the tree part. The tree part with the water. Yeah. I the rage was. Mm, but I like it. It's really fun now. I'm starting to get the hang of it. And I honestly didn't think I would like Metroidvanias, but Zito, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying it. Yay! Um, so I'm hoping to beat that game. Like, my goal is to beat that game. Um, and then uh, art. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing an art stream. Um, and then Friday or Sunday we're going to be doing a stream, potentially. I'm just kind of figuring out my schedule for right now. But yeah, you can find me there. I do, uh, have one, I do have one more thing I wanted to say that my brain is now not full of fuck and I was actually able to figure out what I want to yes, say. Yes, Mr. Zito. Uh, I know people have been tuning in to me making my D&D book on stream, so I might do that over the weekend. So hey. look, look forward to more creative writing sessions of the account of unbefitting Hellspawn sometime in the future. Thank you. Nice. And... Uh... Our, our lovely host, Kurt, yeah. where can they find you? And also, maybe speaking of art, you can tell them about uh, your plans for Friday. Yes. Uh, as you all know, there's... Oh, my God. Uh, we'll get to the bits here in a moment, of course. My goodness, you guys. Um, as we all know, uh, my, comp my laptop computer that I brought with me for the purposes of streaming the art um, it died a big old fart. So what we're going to be doing is uh, doing an extra art stream. At, I'm thinking... 3 o'clock uh, PST on Friday. Is that... And it'll just... It'll be me or and anyone else... What, what? No, you said PST. Oh, yeah, pissed. <laughs> like, how when my computer was messing up, I was really pissed. Uh, exactly. So, yeah, the, there is that. And, of course, uh, tomorrow night we'll have MNW as well as Friday Woo! night MNW and Saturday night MNW. Kind of going a bit of an MNW storm for a little bit here, all leading up to WrestleMania, where I hope we get some Give Them Healthcare champs getting going there on WrestleMania. Uh, are you going to be streaming WrestleMania? No. Like, commentating over it? No. No, I won't be. I want oh, okay. to enjoy it. I wanna, like, as much as I would love to do that, I just want to watch it. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to watch portions of it because I'm very unhappy. I was very hype, and now I'm very unhappy with it. So, okay. We'll okay. See. Okay, but now I gotta get through all these amazing. Okay. They, Good luck. Yeah, I know, right? You guys are kindness is overwhelming. Um, MMA four win. Thank you for the three month resub. Morph PWG. Thank you for the sub. Truck X. Trucks EXE. Thank you for the sub. Probunaga When Probunaga returns, I want Osaki to accompany him to the ring. Also, Bosco, your loss is coming. Probate with a Quiet thousand. You. And thirty cow. Hand of Aran, Sir Big Wiggly. Thank you for the primes. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Gunther the Bulls Gaming. Thank you so much for the 1,000 minutes. Oh my god, finally got Wi-Fi back up and I missed so much. Also, yay, Bosco! Gunther the Bulls Gaming. Woo! Big Bosco mark. Gunther thinks about the 1,000 bits. Zaniel Kun. Ian Schmidgall. Shadiest24. In the Fast of Hawks. Die form is 624. Arcanus Trusky. Thank you so much, guys, for the subs. And Blackfoot Ferret with the over 9,000 bits. Thank you so much, Blackfoot Ferret, for the limes. Ooh. Wow. All right. <laughs> Blackfoot Ferret, thank you so much for the 9,001 bits, dude. Oh, my God. Incredibly yeah, kind of you. Blackfoot Ferret to be as being as consistent as they always are. Yeah, They it's always weird. show up without fail. And I'm just like, there they go. That mysterious ferret. <laughs> And it's always, it's every week, every week, and it's always the same. It's so, so frightening. Well said. <laughs> Blackfoot Ferret, always a mystery, mysterious enigma, but we're glad that you're here with us. Dark Gordon, Hell 21 yeah. with a 445 bits. Thank you. Hey, Bosco, how are you doing? I was wondering if a fellow sports ball wrestling fan like you thinks of Gronk, the tight end, not the orc. Retiring from football, possibly going to WWE. We'll get to that uh, here in a second. I'll, I'll hit that on the break. Renfield, 88 with a thousand bits. Destroy, 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 destroy. Bits for the Overlord! Renfield88, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Burnout Vaughn, 
Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. Thank you so much, dude. Ink Spin, please heal up. Heal up right now, Burnout Vaughn. Oh my god, that sounds rough. Ink Spin, thank you for the 150 bits. Super Blue Hedgehog with the 500 bits. Love you guys. Catching up, up though. Just got the second meeting of the Crown Devil. Anyways, enjoy these. 500 bits. Ah! And they all hit Zeno in the head. Portal Jumper 339 with the 500 bits. How do y'all? Let's engage in local politics. Thank you, Portal Jumper. Oh man, my favorite. Low ballot. Script Daddy, thank you so much for gifting us up to Octo Pimp. Hey, the, the kind, good, the, the good, the goodest boy. He, he should win the ultimate battle of ultimate destiny. The Fox Phonus with the 500 bits, first bit drop ever, and it's for you guys. The Fox O Phonus, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Hand of Auron, Hand of Aaron, with 10,000 bits. <laughs> Been a while since I made a stream live, so just gonna leave this here to make the goodest boy fat. He's fat. I I'll make him bleed. Hand of Auron with ten thousand bits, guys. And thank you so much, dude. Seriously, thank you so much, man. Hand of AA Ron. Nice. My goodness, dude. Thank you. Incredible kindness tonight. Wiz Matrix Dragon V Cat, the Armored Owl. Thank you so much for the subs. Kara Teagle. Scythe the Dragon, thank you so much for the subs as well. Protoss 103, thank you for 245 bits. Lasume 1 with the 500 bits. Lenny, meet, 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 meet. <laughs> well said, well said, well said, Lasume 1. Grim Death with 190 bits, thank you so much. Dawn Sick with the 500 bits. Thanks for making Wednesday nights fun. It makes going, doing lab reports until 3 a.m. bearable when I listen to this in the background. Anyways, it's time to get funny. It's time to give money. Ah! 500 bits, thank you so much. <laughs> Dawn Stick! You should do a prank and switch all the files. Don't do that. That's just, that was a bad, I shouldn't have even said that. Grow the Immortal with a 313 sub. Thank you so much. Burninator with a one, Burninator 1130. Thank you for the sub as well. Argent Lyle 13 with a 300 bits. Hey boys, we playing L the Elder Scrolls 3 tonight. Gotta love the Tribunal expansion. When's the horse armor storyline, Nadine? The what? It's time for horse armor. Man, it looks I like mean... you need to play some uh, Elder Scrolls, Monty. I I played Elder Scrolls. Well, Pony played on up for that horse armor. It's not a, it's not it's not good enough until you start seeing mammoths rain from the sky. It's true. That's a, that's a sign of a good game. Okay. 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 Uh, Mister. I'm fuck, scared and confused. Mister. Fuck you, mu Mister. Fuck you, mup. Two thousand. Fuck him up. <laughs> Whoa. Mister. Fuck him up. Yeah, that's his name. Ten month resub. Thanks so much. Shadowy Strange with a three month resub. Uh, Serious from TV with hundred bits. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, Whiffer17, Whiffed Us with a sub. Thank you, Mark Wolf. Thank you for the sub. Uh, some Persona with 200 bits. Thank you. Crazy Tail 30 with 100 bits. Thank you. Random Man with a 14 month resub. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm Cody with 500 bits. Thank you so much for helping me through the audit caused anxiety week. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm Cody. I, I, I want to tell you something right now. Someone in chat goes, Zito, did you see the. Do you know what an Amatone is? I don't know. What are they? Cool. My Japanese Re friends want one. Registered Anna with 500 bits. In this episode of Panic Seduces the World, Panic will attempt to seduce the justice system. Ha! But justice is blind! Oh, Okay. Yikes. Let's do one with 500 bits. Hi. Hi again. Sorry about how much of my art polluted the art stream. It did not pollute the art stream, Lasume. Don't worry. I'll try to make it less. I'll try to make it less for now. Thank you so much for the art, though, Lasume One. I just gently package them all in uh, multiple ones in one. I think would be really awesome, dude. Amazing, amazing oh. uh, palettes. So seriously, Shining Lamp One with a hundred bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Daisy Head with five hundred bits. So here's a talk of fumbling his D and D characters. Maybe AJ will end up in tonight's adventure. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, just like how Asmo ended up in Los Aranis. Hey, hey, I saw that. that. I'm just like <laughs> his, his his name starts with an A, and Nick was voice was in my ear. It just it, my brain went there. Uh, Testarossa Dragon, thank you so much for the 13 month resub. Uh, Mac Bond with a eight month resub. Thank you so much, Master Monster with a oh, thousand bits. Take my hope, my sorrow, and all of my bits. And the bits fall. Thank you so much, Master Monster. 11 for the 1,000 bits. Shadowless One, thank you so much for the 9 month resub. Uh, Fusebox 08 with a 500 bits. Take my bits. Yeah. And those ones hit Bosco. Gudrain with a 9 month resub. Thank you so much, Carbold Artificer Sniper with the 1,500 bits. Praise Oriar. Also, you guys make going through gastritis that much more tolerable. Ah! Yeah. I don't even know what that would be like. It's got the word gas in it, so that means it's also it ends with also, itis. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, 
It is seven o'clock. So uh, okay. I'm sorry if I couldn't get to your bits, but thank you so much, Commando J Commando Joe. Uh, Shadow Weeks thanks all the subs, guys. Thank you so much. We love you. All right, everybody here. <gasps> Bosco. Uh, yep. All right. When last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Task the Cobalt Ranger, and Remy the Kenku Fighter, the party enjoyed some long overdue TLC. After sleeping off their hangovers, the party went about their business in the city, checking in on old friends and making new ones. Isn't that right, Remy? In a rush of, of need for closure, the party delved into the depths of the Scarvel's hole to investigate the presence of ghosts. In a surprising twist, the ghosts ended up ghosting the party in the sense that the ghosts were not ghosts, but illusions. After shutting down the illusions, Greckle's task and a very confused log found a talking elven door named Oakenlock. Now, not knowing the password to get past the magic door, the party decided to head topside and then went to bed to await sleep before the long tribunal the following dawn. So you guys wake up. Assumedly, I'm going to assume you guys dress up nicely for this event. Yeah, yeah actually, can I yeah. actually, can I describe what Remy's wearing? Yeah, let's have everybody describe what you guys want to wear. Assuming you have clothes, um, I'm sure Nine <laughs> could have easily gotten you guys some, some okay. clothes if need be, or Helga. Uh, so I'll go first. Uh, so Remy is wearing a slashed doublet. If you guys aren't familiar with that, it basically looks like there's two different layers of clothing uh, in purple and gold trim. Also, a purple cape, or I should say a cloak, with gold trim and kind of a darkish gray inside, along with a pair of boots uh, and gloves. So, very formal wear. Uh, Task is going to wear the, uh, that, the high militant uh, armor that he purchased a while ago. Okay. So, what? Okay, I said okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just, Just a note, I'm noting it. it. No, you're not allowed clothes, naked or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> naked or nothing, Cobalt. Okay, listen, I'm telling you this right now. I, this is the fucking one of the few times Task has to wear pants, so fucking enjoy this now. Okay? I, I am oh, enjoying the way, they, the way they cling to your tight Cobalt behind. Yeah, uh, that's someone. The pants. All right. Uh, I would say Greckles next. Oh, what are boy. you wearing? Greggles really doesn't have much in the way of extra clothes, all things considered. Um, Wear your nicest goth clothing. Dude, he doesn't even have that. You kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> nicest it, emo steampunk wear. Blast the loudest Hot Topic music you could ever muster. It's true. No, this no. He would blast Christian rock no, at this no, point. No, you no, guys no. are paying oh, attention yeah, to his character. Uh, he's, no, he's <laughs> gonna, he's going to be wearing a Bullet Club shirt, guys. That's we know this. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Um, I, Unless we can, unless we can retcon buying clothing, uh, Greckles is just going to be going and is is armor is in armor acceptable with the with the uh, leather. So typically, you would not want to wear armor to a tribunal unless you're like a knight or a guard because yeah, it implies unless that you're, you're there like, for a fight. Yeah, um, generally, what I guess, you would know is is like Doros and Brock. You probably would expect they're going to wear armor because they are guard. But everybody else shouldn't be wearing armor unless they have a reason to. Yeah, you so. would notice even Remy doesn't have actual legit armor on. I guess at this point, then he would just don that you old like kata that he had. You could wear like a breastplate, like something like that would be fine. So. No, he's he's, he's probably just gonna go in that uh, yukata that he's been kicking around for a while because there's really nothing else. Okay. Boy's a minimalist. And then Borky. Borky's gonna wear black dress pants and a white tee and a white dress shirt. Does he have that? <laughs> Monty says nines could provide clothing. Helga would have something that would fit you. There we go. Borky um, Borky is gonna look like he's going to church. You you actually look more like a salsa dancer, at least with the sleeves. <laughs> oh man. Um, kind of like puffy sleeves, puffy shoulders, um, definitely V neck at the at the chest. Um, and then black pants. Um would work. Are you wearing shoes or sandals? I'm wearing, or he's wearing his boots. Okay, you're wearing boots with that. Then yeah, that works. That totally works. Um, it's a little bit actually surprisingly too big, uh, but it fits. So there you go. And then Panic. Well, Panic is wearing a wine-colored silk button-up shirt with a three-piece suit made entirely out of black skin-tight leather. Okay. Where did you get this what? from? Wait, hang on. <laughs> Are we just retconning clothing at this point? <laughs> yes. I, so, okay, to be fair, I believe that Panic would have, like, a yeah, I believe you would have that, I absolutely too. believe I would, considering I've been with him this entire time. It's the heavy metal mantra, dude. My skin is 
is black skin tight. Let me leather. put it this way, Gaijin. It's the rule of cool. So yes, he has it. Even Marilyn Manson. Right. Even Marilyn Manson. Wear nothing Ma but black skin tight oh, leather. Okay, My okay. skin is laced with metal studs. Even is... Marilyn Manson went to court in a suit. Okay. It's true. <laughs> That that is within reason. So anything, if you want to wear something within reason, imported clothing would probably not be available. But if you wanted like a standard um, outfit, Greco's totally can do that. You could probably find something. Uh, okay. How much would import? This is curious now. How much would import court? Import you are at a shop. It's expensive. Like non-essential stripped alabaster is really absurdly expensive. So if you're looking for Eastern Isles garb, garb, expect the markup. Yeah. I'm 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 waiting well, for a price point. Oh God. Oh, I'd say like for like a really nice silk outfit like Couple at least thousand five, dollars at like least. five thousand gold there pieces. you go okay more. yeah it's expensive I don't know, like 10 15 20 if, maybe 100. if you had time and if they were willing to do it robin might be able to muster mm. something up for you but robin has a full-time job so hard to say um, actually actually at this point greco's would be asking panic what he has that he could borrow oh shit well, <laughs> <laughs> what? You wouldn't ask the other bird. You would ask Panic. Okay. No, I would ask Panic because Panic has better style. I'm not. How the fuck dare you? <laughs> I'm not sure you would look good in skin tight stuff since I don't really know where your skin starts and the feathers end. But I just thought the feathers uh... grew out of bones. I mean, we can make it work. It's e it's either this or casual wear, which is probably not the best. Roll idea. Let's play with the puff Wait. feathers. Let's play with it another time when we're not going to a tribunal. Uh, I think Bork. I think Borky destroyed the only other item of clothing I had. That's right, he did. It's true. Yikes. It's true. Uh, I don't survive my that, girth. There's that summer yukata that I made you a long time ago. That that will work. That does look formal enough to work. Okay, that's what I was yeah. worried about. Yeah, that's, looks... that I that is an informal garment, so I was kind of worried. You're not really sure what the level of dress code is for this, but you assume it's just you know, a formal way. Gotcha. Um, you guys at this point, kind of skipping the morning, you guys eat, you guys say hello to everybody. Uh, and at okay. this point, you guys have reached the lower city guard building, which you guys remember from when the eclipse happened. It's where you guys were holed up. There's like a jail holding area there. That's where you first received the letter from Lies. Mm. Um, and Doros is standing there and he's wearing his, his armor, but like on, he's kind of holding this bundle to his side and he's just kind of like yawning and just waiting. A bundle? Yeah, like a like a linen sort of sack. He's kind of just holding next to him loosely. It's like mm. about the size of like a plastic bag. Oh, by the way, did you get my notes that Greco's wouldn't have any of the holy symbols on him for this? Yeah, by the way, no weapons, guys. Even if you wanted to, weapons mm. are staying at home. Uh, no I, items at all. I think we made that clear. Borky, Borky yeah. takes his ability to suplex and puts it in a drawer. Could could I cast a spell on myself preemptively, or would I know that they would have a way to detect that? You, you could assume don't know. that they have tons. Dude, they got they got they got magic about detectors, it this like way. metal if they detectors. Didn't, then anybody could walk in and blast the place with like a huge fireball, so they probably can check. It's safer just to not. That's mm. problem. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. So, spell component. So your guitar, unfortunately, will have to stay there. Oh, um, Helga promises to protect it. Um, and any other weapon, blade, whatever, is, is, you have to leave behind. Which is why you have a guard escorting you. That's kind of the deal. Don't worry, guys, if we get into trouble, I'll summon my weapons. We're okay. It'll be two on ten. Uh, you guys do meet up with Doros, who just kind of, like, walks towards you guys and just kind of gives you, you know, his own mute greeting. Um, as you guys kind of slowly begin to make your way. It's very dry now that the spring has kind of come. Uh, lot like the the mud and like the muck is kind of gone now. It's kind of like dried into this cracked earth. Uh, a lot of dust, a lot of beasts of burden, um, a lot of flies. Unfortunately, that's kind of the downside. Uh, but it is warmer now at this point. Uh, as you guys make your way up the lower districts towards the middle district. Uh, question for you, Monty. Before I start talking, uh, yes. because Remy has noble lineage would he have any idea of the inner workings of tribunals in alavast specifically no okay alavast is different than every other place the biggest thing that has you really like question mark question mark question mark is that technically alavast isn't really a nation it's just a it's... conglomerate of people who have just kind of made this city so it's and... very it's very it's so it's very much still a uh what's the word i'm looking for an immigrant town in the making Kind of. It's it's you don't know what level they're at. How 
it's like that fucking thing where you, you, you find out your property's not actually part of the United States. Jesus. <laughs> Are you telling me Alabas was Pretoria? Yes! No, okay, no, actually, the, the I'd say city state is the closest to what city state would probably yeah. make the most sense then. Yeah. yeah. But, like, the, guys, the Vatican's like... a city state. Uh, guys, no, the Vatican I thought was its own country. Not important, but you guys, yep. focus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning so much. <laughs> you guys make your way up. Um, as you guys reach the middle district, you watch as Doros kind of lifts up a hand for you guys to wait for a second. Uh, he's right. fully clearing you through everywhere. Uh, he walks over to a bench and he like opens up the linen bag and he pulls out this long length of cloth, uh, which Remy you recognize as a tabard. Mm -hmm. um, it is a beautifully embroidered avon tabard with the mountain in the middle and the sword coming down the front. And he watches, he's just kind of like hitching it into his armor, which you notice his armor is, it looks nice. It's been polished or it's been cleaned, obviously. And you watch as he's just kind of like, just kind of just like leaning over and putting it all on. Uh, by the time he's done, he looks like a, like, Doros always kind of was like a little, besides being a Goliath, he's kind of unassuming. But with the tavern, he actually looks like a paladin now. Like, the full, like, poster child paladin. Um, it's kind of strange. Um, and he kind of gives you guys, like, a little bit of a nod. Kind of tucks the, the burlap sack somewhere and then proceeds forward. Can we thumbs up him when he turns around and just shows himself off? Yeah, you should give him a <laughs> thumbs up and he's just like, hmm, kind of nods. Looking good, big guy. Just kind of gives us, like... That one cat face where like the lips are sucked in just kind of gives you guys a nod like that, and then. Uh, <laughs> quick, a quick question: we need, some, we need some of those taverns, but for, with like for, sweet dragon um, logos. For flavor, how loud has Panic's outfit been? Not actually that loud. It's pretty tame. It's I mean, just a three-piece suit. The yeah, only thing loud about it is that it's made of all leather. That's exactly it. <laughs> e -e. <laughs> is there anything you guys would like to discuss before you reach the high district? Because yes. Be oh my God! Yes. Can we do this, actually, out, of, can we do this out of character, please? Can we, like, can we like talk, talk out of character? That is this? up to everyone. Do you guys want to do it out of character? In character? I am okay with doing it above limit. game. Okay, okay, do it above game. Right. I'm What's giving up? you guys a time limit, though. Okay. okay, that's fine. So what do you want to talk about, Kurt? I just want to make, I just like what, what, I just want a quick update on what we're going to avoid telling them. So we cannot exactly. tell them that we are putting together a coalition of orcs. We cannot tell them that we are working with Edward. Yep. Uh, and we basically cannot tell them that everything that we went through outside of being attacked by the Oran clergy was premeditated. Mm. Okay, and the, the, so our our cover is just we were we, we were, were attacked on the open seas. Mm -hmm. We were on the well, open you guys seas. Are mercenaries, so yeah, so you're mercenaries. We were doing a job. <laughs> yep, that's it. They're, we were doing a job, and we were. They're attacked. probably going to want to know what that job was, so we need a so cover. So if you, so if Monty, I don't know if you want to give it to us. We had that posting on the bulletin board that exactly that, that up, automatically so... goes on your ticket. So you guys, there's some abacus would know that you guys did sign up for that job just right. through so, the magic of those tickets. So literally, we're on that job. We're attacked. We defended ourselves. We found allies in the orcs, and we we got home. Pre pre pretty much from pretty much from no us cleric. getting attacked going forward was just us playing it by ear. Also, exactly. no no clerics. Yeah, no mention what, of the cl what clerics. There we uh, go. Remember, no Russian. But what about Elev uh What about um? Blah, 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 blah. I'm getting words mixed Evelise up now. Evelina that came back. Evelina, yeah. Oh yeah, Evelina. Sorry, I'm in Lucha Underground. Evelina, oh, cover back, I believe so. her character, her cover story was that she just was. She was coming back to... just to go with her. Uh, yeah, she's gonna live with her father. uncle. Uh, yeah. Her uncle, sorry. Yeah. And we're we're leaving the orcs out of it as well. Well, we're not leaving the orcs out of it. We're just not saying that we are building a coalition with them. Because the orcs are going to establish a trade route. That's that. Like th it was, it was an interesting side note that the orcs said we want to trade with Alavas, and that's it. So that is, we, just, that is the extent. we just we just brought that word with us. We were just like, okay, after defending ourselves, the orcs went, hmm, can you put a word for us? Sure, why not? Exactly. Yeah, they, they wanted to establish a trade route, and they helped us to just get in a good word with uh, with Alabast. Good, good. So did Evelina just leave and find our encampment and be like, hey, I want to go to Alabast? That's so kind what, of what so the... ba Well, basically, what, what we can tell them, because this is not stuff that we can't tell them, she switched sides to help us, and we use that to basically get rid of Orn in the area because there was no way to, for us to get back without to, doing that. To aid in this information, it is easy enough to assume that Evelina came through a ship on a dock. That she didn't come with you guys at all. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So, We're trying to make sure the alibi is correct. If you don't mention it, you didn't mention yeah, it. Yeah, less is it, so friend. much more. So, I was, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I was about to say, we, uh, I don't think we need to bring up. Less is more, short answers, just, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Also, inside check the what fuck we, out of what people. What should we say about uh, the Sunblade and all of the swords we found? That was all taken but, as evidence. Yeah, yeah they, they, all of, they, have it, they have it as evidence. So. Have We're waiting evidence. to get some of that stuff back. Yeah, they're holding, including your money as yep. well. Ah, uh, I have one more thing I want to say above game, and I can roleplay it if you want me to. Um, we have an opportunity to do something uh, espionage-wise if we want to do it. Okay, what's your so, plan? So if we want to do this, we can do it one of two ways. So we know that there is a spy in the council. We know that for a fact. Mm. Um, there is one of two ways to potentially lure out where, like, a lead to who that might be. So we can either give them one piece of information that is true that we would otherwise keep secret, or we can make up a lie, whichever one you guys would prefer. The way that you track that is if that information gets back to somebody, you're able to then reroute that, okay, who in the council would be able to get that back? Who did they give it to? So, for example, if Periton all of a sudden tries to act on that information, okay, so it's a lead to Periton, somebody working with Periton. Now we have a lead. That's just an option that we have. What do you what do you suggest we use that as a lead? Um, oh, go ahead, Panic. Um, should what what should we explain about the Dragon Cult? Ooh. Uh, uh, I don't think Taskin. that's going to come up, to be honest. Uh, I think it's important information, though. Yeah, Task kind they're of working with they're thing. working with Periton. They're working with the United Clergy. You did have evidence of that. So they already know that then that would be in the, the debrief yeah. that we gave because we gave them a dissertation. All the right? evidence you gave to Grinelda has been handed over. So any of the documents that you guys had found that it was fully just like what Par like what Periton was doing there, you guys by not exploding that chest, you guys managed to gather so much evidence at this point that a lot of the things you can vouch. I'm not gonna say it's guaranteed, but you have good evidence. That's that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing. You can still fuck up, obviously. With any of these sorts of things, but yeah. it's uh, it's quite good. The biggest thing are the weapons you found; those are very strong. But you guys already knew that. Correct. Um, so to answer your question, Connor, I think they already have that information. So if they ask for clarification, it would just be, "Is this true?" But they already have that evidence. You gotcha. said yes. We provided evidence. Task, what were you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say the the old task would have given that information because that's the whole fucking purpose of it being in this town. Oh God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so is there anything we haven't covered? Nope. Um, as for the information we could potentially give them, I could make this real easy. I could have, if they ask, I could have Remy say he's going to contact uh, Valithia for potential aid. And then if anybody either intercepts the letter that he then sends out or that information gets to somebody else, it's not a lie. It's the truth. But if anybody intercepts it or otherwise knows about that, it helps us maybe whittle down who it could be. How would we catch who found out, though, based upon reactions of either Periton or whatever surrounding area? Correct. So, for example, if I send a letter out in character and uh, I then never hear back from Valithia and I go, hey, did you get this letter? And they were like, no. And then you're looking for, okay, but who knows about it? Where, was the, where did this letter get taken? Or if somebody acts on that information and somebody at the council mentions it, you know, out and about, and then the, we hear about it being leaked. We're like, all right, well now- We just have to worry about not having guilt by association then on that point though. Right, so the, it, it's not gonna tell us who the leak is, but it might tell us who the leak is working for based on who gets that information. Mm. So it's just, right. it's just one more piece of information. You have one two more minutes to come up with your ideas. One Sorry. more small thing. Uh, are we going to mention Gruel specifically? Because that might be a big name. I don't think we really have no to. Point. There's no need to. Just some orcs, then. Yeah, just the orc and the and the yeah, just the orcs. Because again, like it's it's kind of a non-point because they're gonna know who he is eventually anyway. Yeah, that's fair. He'll make his I... present. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess that's I, it. I, I think yeah, we've covered yeah, everything. Yeah. Okay. Gross. All right. You as you guys Gross. are kind of chatting amongst yourself, Doris is very intentionally not listening to the conversation. Um, <laughs> at this point. I think with your relationship with Doros, it's pretty close at this point, but he knows kind of just to let the, the cards fall where they may. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys are led up to the High District. Once again, you are greeted with the sights of beautiful clerical temples, buildings of immaculate dwarven stonework, and a few people. You expected a lot more for a tribunal, but there's actually not a lot. Um, Doros leads you guys uh, through the somewhat chattering uh, center square. You see the attic's shadow looming above you. 
the chains creaking and now the, the melted snow and rain. Uh, and you are led to the central building, what could only be described as, it's made out of wood, but it is absolutely gorgeous wood. It looks like the building grew here. Hmm. It is framed in two massively twisting trees with various branches going the opposite way, like down, almost like tiles. Um, and the stonework is just exquisite. It is, it is, you don't, you can't tell if it's dwarven or elven. It might be both. Um, and there are quite a few windows, um, a very, very nice glass. Uh, and there's a giant, massive, almost 10 foot tall, double, like carved door. Uh, that makes up the front of it, with two small regular-sized doors on either side. Uh, and the giant carved door depicts a scene of a, a human man, uh, kind of on the cliffside with like a wave rushing up against him, um, holding up a warhammer, which you guys all recognize. Uh, it was the warhammer that was in Edward's collection with the eyeball oh, in it. Shit. Oh, Okay. Nice. Does it this, still look eyeballed? Uh, it, it's kind of vague. You do recognize it. Um, you would know that this is probably like he didn't use this. He like it was kind of like maybe like a tr like a treasure of some kind. Um, someone can roll a knowledge history. I would say Panic, Remy, and Greckles. You actually no task too. Everyone but Borky. Mm. No offense, Kurt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bor Borky, did, Borky knows more. He was more. not a history buff. Oh God, Gaijin. Nice. That's a twenty-one. Borky knows yes. Warhammer forty k. Nine. Nah. Eleven. Eleven. Not knowing what probably makes. Yeah, uh, you were kind of like on the line. Uh, Greckles, you know, just from kind of running around and and learning things, um, and just kind of picking up, you know, still habity and things like that. Mm -hmm. You remember hearing uh, at the Knoll wedding that there were actually gnolls that lived in Alabas first. Um, and when Captain Canary landed, they were just crazy. Um, they were, you couldn't talk to them. They were feral, like a hundred percent feral. Um, and any semblance of, of intelligence was gone from them. Mm -hmm. And their leader wielded a, this, this great hammer. Um, and through the works of United clergies, as well as other people, um, they managed to just kind of eradicate these really almost diseased, uh, knolls that seem to have been, as you could assume, lost to the corruption of Stilhavity probably for God knows how long. Mm. Um, so this appears to be the scene of them, like, you know, kind of finally deciding where to put themselves in Alabas. This is kind of like the centermost point of the city with the attic looming, looming above. Uh, hmm. Doros kind of like leans over all of you guys and just kind of pushes the doors open in front of you as you're kind of admiring the woodwork. And the doors and open into actually a very brightly lit, uh, I own torch lit uh, hall. The moment you get the smell of authority, you, you smell ink on paper. You oh. smell uh, the sound, the, the scent of, of, uh, of stamp and, and glue and, and other things that just kind of have a natural sort of odor to them. Old books. And oh man, new shipment at Staples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, there are people there in the hall. Um, they're all kind of like just murmuring amongst themselves uh, outside of the room, uh, which appears to be kind of the main chamber. There's various different hallways and sections. It's kind of a maze in a way. Uh, but mm. Doros is very specific towards leading you to one section of the hallway. As you can see that there is kind of a lineup leading into what you can assume is the main chamber of the council. Um, I would say for whoever would choose amongst you, uh, someone roll a perception check to maybe pick up on specific figures that might stand out to you. Guys. I have the I have a proficiency in a is, five. And five. I, I'm is also really good at perception, so if it's visual, I would say Remy. All right, this, go for it. This would be visual, yes. So then I would have advantage on this, right? You would, yes. Okay. All right, so good one. Twenty-four. Jesus. Nice. <laughs> there are. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just pointing out. Specific things you would notice. There are three individuals who you immediately notice and almost kind of throw you off guard a little bit. Okay. The first is a goblin. Okay. Wearing, you're talking about Panic's outfit being loud. He is wearing a full pinstripe purple suit with a cravat 
and a top hat with a silk lash around the side with two feathers coming out of the side. Oh my god, yes! He is, he is holding himself like Napoleon. Like, his, his one hand is kind of tucked in the suit with the other hand kind of down. He's got a whole stack of papers under his the crook of his arm. And he appears to be, like, his chest is puffed out and he appears to be very, like, looking very seriously. You do notice some other individuals in the hall kind of giving him this sideway glance, but he is just, like, like... At the ready, if you gave him a rifle, it would look like a soldier almost. Got it. So he's from Gilneas. What? Sorry, that was a Warcraft reference. He's in the top hat. Don't worry, I'll give my invisible high five. Okay. (laughs) Sorry. Uh, No, you're good. Um, Do do I know who it is or I just recognize the outfit? You wouldn't have seen this person um, before. Um, he doesn't really go outside very much. Um, the other person you mentioned, actually, I would say with that perception, you could point this out to panic, is another tiefling, a male tiefling. I will be pointing this out to everybody, just what I notice. Uh, he's got, like, really solid ram-style horns, uh, has a very tired-looking expression on his face. Okay. Um, he appears to be kind of just, like, leaning up against the wall, hands in his pockets. His outfit is reminiscent of a mercenary, but, like, one that is more formal. Um, and he's got like paperwork that he's not really taking too much care of. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the one that immediately stands out to you that you see as you guys are kind of standing in line, you see walking through another door is a minotaur, a large, mm-hmm. um, auburn colored minotaur with long, like longhorn oxen horns that kind of like oh, twist yeah. forward. Ooh. Um, he is wearing a helmet, like armored helmet with like chainmail like curtains kind of coming down the sides of the of the you know the bovine cheeks sort of um he is wearing very nice refined armor um and he's wearing a sigil on the front it's not a religious one it appears to be some sort of sigil of some sort of guild definitely gets everyone's attention at that point it's kind of hard to see through the crowd but you do see him how and he's very courteous about other how, people. how do- tall is he he is, he is probably around the same height as Doros, and he's a lot bigger, yeah, like, I was say. girth-wise. Quick, quick question also about the tiefling. What color is he? Uh, the tiefling, I would say, is, like, kind of like an, like, it's kind of like a, gra- a gradient, like an orange to a red, almost. Okay. Yeah. He, okay. Uh, tiefling in Alabast. Yeah, he's, um, <laughs> he, he's, he's, he also has a sigil on his armor. It appears he's also part of some sort of um, guild, potentially. We don't Definitely happen to recognize a- any of the guilds, do we? Um, I would say for actually you and I would say Tass, you guys are both mercenary based. I would say both of you guys roll, I'd say history checks again. Okay. Okay. 17. Nice. 12. 12. Um, none of these really stand out to you. Um, Remy, I mean, you don't really, you yourself as a mercenary, you've never actually had to work with other mercenaries. Mm-hmm. And I've only been a mercenary um, with the Griffin Riders, so I don't know mercenaries very well. Yeah, yeah, no, you wouldn't. There is one person that you notice the symbol of Task, um, oh. because it's the symbol of a tavern you went to the night previously. The bottom dollar symbol, uh, which you knew is kind of a seedy establishment, but also a Telentura establishment of gambling and obviously drinking and fun. Um, you see embroidered into this, another top hat is a tabaxi currently kind of like, just like mixing cards together in his hand, a la gambit style. Um, and you recognize that as a symbol that, you know, um, I will, makes... I will point that out to the party saying that, that there's an outside source that this guy's probably like some kind of really high mogul. And the place that I went to is probably a little bit more common outside. Yeah. Uh, Tell who him... has that, who has that sigil, by the way? Tabaxi. That is... The that tabaxi, is a tabaxi. Got it. Yeah, he's black and white, so he's got like the black. He's got the white nose, kind of black fur. Has the tuxedo look to him. He he's basically looks like like he's wearing a tuxedo, and he is wearing like a nice black jacket that almost leads into the the, the fur. Um, and you know, Tass, as much as you're at the establishment, as much as it was seedy, you know from the experience there's Telentura aren't like they don't own establishments, but they tend to reside in certain establishments and tend to kind of you know do their business there and their business being, you know, good luck and gambling and that sort of thing. So, uh, yes. Casino boys. Excellent. He doesn't look like he's some sort of like card shark coming in here to, you know, cause a fuss. He does seem like he's on official business, but he's also kind of like playing with the cards and having fun. Yeah, for sure. At this point, you guys are kind of standing there and you hear the ringing of a bell and immediately the crowd begins to move forward. Um, and you watch as you walk into a large hall 
with triangle arched tops with um I think they're I'm I'm gonna get giggles from this one. I think they're called buttresses, flying buttresses. Yeah, like the, yeah no, that like, works. Church ribs, whatever. Church, um, church <laughs> ribs. That's even better. <laughs> that gets me to laugh. The are, other they, one are, they, are they are they are they dry rub or are they like kind of like a moist uh, they're dry rub. Mm. They're they are they're, they're, they're structural Gosh, like they're obviously they're there for structure, but they've been obviously embellished for good, you know, to make it look nice. The room is almost chalk white. It is marble floor, marble pews. The seats are like a dark tarnished brown. And there are various different levels, which is kind of interesting. And the moment you guys walk in this room, your footsteps just echo, just clack, clack, clack. Um, you can tell who the people who are used to this are because they get to their seats almost like, like, like it's like class. Um, and you do see a lot of people in total in the seats. Um, in terms of official seats, you see one. I should have counted those up. Three, two, Report or like state court. 18, 19, 20. Oh, this is fed. 25 individuals. This is fed. Yeah. This yeah. is fed. This is fed. Yeah. Um, and you do see scribes uh, accompanying some of them. Um, you see another tiefling, a uh, very interesting looking tiefling, actually. Oh, the um, sixth tiefling in Alabaster. Yeah. They, they obviously are not there, like, as a, you know, a speaks person. They are obviously a scribe. Um, what's very interesting about them is that their feet aren't hooves, but they're actually like claws on the ground and they have like a very long tail. Um, the most standoutish thing though, is that their, their face is like half and half. So one side is like a, a, a stark white and the other side is like black and they have white eyes on each side. They almost look, it almost looks like a Harlequin mask in a way. And mm. they look tired. Mm. <laughs> like they are standing there just flipping through paperwork, just like blinking slowly, rubbing their eyes. And they're just like, on a, on a, on a, just kinda... on a scale from Remy to, uh, Okay, never mind. Was... Careful, careful who you say next. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> they look, they look just exhausted with their job. They don't look like they're, they just didn't get any sleep. They just look like, oh God, the, you know, Friday, am I right? Right to the grind. Yeah, more or less. Um, oh, everybody you... begins to take their seats and you begin to see some familiar faces who have probably already found their seats. You do see Bork. Um, you see Isla. Um, and Bork is in the same sort of attire as, as, um, as Doros, except he has his helmet with him. Um, and the same tavern. You see Isla, who's basically dressed the same. So she's good. Um, you see a lot of elves. You see a lot of humans. You see a few dwarves. Um, and you see a couple dragonborn. Uh, and you also see Zerf the Knoll, who is currently wearing like warband armor at the moment. Like obviously very formal looking armor. And she's got her arms crossed, and she's standing. She can't sit. Oh. Um, and you see everyone make their seats. The Minotaur just, boom, makes the ground, entire ground shake as he sits down. And Doros leads you guys over to the side uh, to a set of seats specifically indicated with you guys. You even see there's, like, little notes of paper there that there, indicate your guys' names and titles. Are there um, two, like, sides to this hallway? You're not in a hallway. You're in a chamber now. Okay, is it like a circular you're in like or a square? A, you're like in a political chamber. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a half like circle shape. Okay. With a giant thing in the middle. Okay. Um, and as you guys are kind of, you're kind of led there and sitting there, and uh, Doros kind of like leans over, looks mm -hmm. at all of you guys, just kind of looking at you, like not intensely, but just like with kind of like almost like he's trying to comfort, but he's like he can't find the words because he's Doros. Um, and he just kind of looks at you guys and just kind of the table, shoots you guys the double crossbows, and then just stiffly walks away and then leaves the chamber. Uh, where he actually meets with Stendon, and they both stand at either side of the door, which leads outwards, and just kind of stand guard there. All right. There's about 10 minutes of just murmuring and people kind of shuffling papers around and um, people kind of right. coming in and out. Can I roll and... perception to see if I can hear if anyone's talking about us specifically? Yeah, absolutely. Is anyone talking shit? No, you jest, but that's real. I want that. 24. 24. Um, I just want to see here who is in attendance early and who's not. 
Um, no one is talking shit. Okay. There are people who are giving you sideways glances. You can tell there is some people who do have some prejudices. Um, of course, it's fans. fans yeah. Fucking racist. Specific... I cast shatter. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> a lot of humans are giving the side eye. Um, and, and all the elves are just always, you know. They're no elves. Offense, they're elves. elves. They're elves. Oh. So the... Oh. <laughs> When the um, elves make the dwarves seem more xenophobic, you well, know okay, it's okay. Look, the knife ears can yeah. stick it, okay? Whoa, now. Whoa. Um, <laughs> you do notice there are, uh, besides Zerth, with that perception, you do notice three people who you recognize, or two actually, two people you recognize beyond who you already know. Oh. And these are people you haven't seen in a while. You see, Gord Richfane, who is the mountain dwarf you guys did the spider mission on. Okay. And you also see Merrick's Galaxern, who is the oh, dragon, really? the silver dragonborn you guys got the teleportation sphere for. Oh, nice. They are currently in attendance as apparently um, they, they came in because there was a call for it. They came in uh, on the behalf of past, um, you assume past contract with you guys. The character so, witnesses. Uh, so, More so, or less, yeah. yeah. Borky, uh, Borky uh, whispers into Panic's here. Uh oh, I didn't get the old man his lunch. We're so screwed. <laughs> that's a hard. Pull. That's a hard pull. Uh, anyway, that's it. That has nothing to do with anything. Okay. I am <clears throat> actually angry. That statement makes me so upset because <laughs> fuck that part of the game. I'm so mad. <laughs> ah, fuck! Did you oh, I should have done that. <laughs> anyway, as you guys kind of settle into your seats, there's kind of like this murmured silence. Um, and then you hear as clack, clack, clack. And you see as all the Teds turn as the doors are pulled open and you see Abacus, Fleet Fingers, your first employer, step through. Oh no. Borky and bibs. you see some people like take off their hats and tip gently and she kind of just walks in. She's wearing very nice attire and she has a like a folder that is almost as big as she is currently. And she's just walking in with that. Oh, she shit. walks everyone like 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 a like the, the strict teacher walking into the classroom. Some people are still talking amongst themselves, but a lot of people watch and turn and she walks over to a desk, just drops the paper, swam onto the desk, sits down and just pulls her chair in and then like intertwines her fingers, places her her elbows on the table and just looks. This is not her first rodeo. She's been here before. Man, if the situation was a little bit more jovial, I would have started humming happy birthday. Oh, that'd be no. great. <laughs> Who wants to be a turtle? Should be yeah, the new right. game. All right. Borky's As sweating. you guys all sit down, My back all so the dead. murmurs then come to a silence. A dead, quiet silence. I have to find my music here. Oh, man, music. Court well, not music. really music. It's more like da, just... Da, da, no, it's just gonna be... Dum-dum. No, don't stop playing. There we go. <laughs> you watch as silence overtakes the chamber, and the only sounds you really hear are people shifting in their seats, papers being flipped over, ink quills tapping against the glass of the ink wells. And you watch as you see three individuals brought in near you guys, but not enough for you guys to obviously talk to them. You see Solly brought in. Ooh. You see Lionel, and you see Helena brought in too. Oh no. Boy. Can I make a quick perception check? Absolutely, yeah. Could I see if, um, fuck, I forget his name. Could I see if that drow is hiding in Sully's shadow? Sure, I'd say with disadvantage because she she's going behind like these seating areas mm -hmm. um and they all have like things in front of like people so it's like you're kind of like sitting in like a booth sort of thing like a jury almost gotcha. that'd can be a perception roll? yeah perception for you can i roll an insight while he does that on Lionel specifically yeah cool 11 I... <clears throat> 24. nice you guys are very good um you do notice when solly goes to sit down her shadow does shift back into itself hmm. um for that insight, though, 
Uh, Lionel looks just defeated. He doesn't look injured. He doesn't look like beaten up. He looks just very, there's a lot going through his head. Um, mm. And like, he was really indignant to you guys before. He doesn't look indignant here. He looks like okay. the seriousness is of his, what this is, is kind of hitting him now. And he's just kind of like head kind of lulled down looking at the floor. Um, he's wearing like linen clothing. Um, it looks like he's received some like medical treatment. He's got some bandages in various spots, you know, after having a brontosaurus dropped on him. Um, <laughs> and um, they all just kind of sit there. Can Greckles do an insight on Sully? Sure. That is a 19. She looks about as stressed as I'd say you guys at this point. Um, she doesn't seem distressed. Mm. Um, you get the sense that this isn't her first time being in this council mm. after the events that conspired. You get the sense she just doesn't want to be here, though, but she's doing it anyway because it's what she needs to do. Gotcha. You watch I'm... as... Oh, sorry. Yep. Well, I was going to say, like, I'm quite surprised with much as Azra Zahar was latched onto Sully that she's not in this place. Yeah. Oh, Sully's got her doing something. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Um, as you guys sit down, you watch as uh, Brork stands up uh, and he speaks clearly over the crowd and he goes, I'm Captain Brork Bronzefang. As we lead in this tribunal today, we will allow the powers that arm this city to decide who will be standing as our voice this day. And there's a long, long pause. And you watch as a piece of paper suddenly apparates in the middle of the floor, drifts slowly, and lands on the ground. And you watch as uh, the scribe goes over, kind of almost tripping over her feet, just like, oh, walks over, unrolls it, and goes, uh, today's speaker will be, uh, Brothak Thunderbraids. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of just steps back. And you watch as one of the dwarves, you notice now he is sitting in the Gromoth clergy seat, stands up and goes, all right, then kind of pulls up his pants, uh, walks over, and he is donned in what looks like a, like a judge robe, essentially, in front of the rest of the court. He takes the gavel, and he walks up to the middlemost part. All right, so it seems that the divines have brought me in as speaker today. A matter, of course, is one of great importance, which is why we have called all the clergies here, and we're glad to see everyone. If we could have everyone in, please rise, and in your proper orders, state your names for those who are members of the United Clergies and the Council of Alevist. He kind of nods, and you watch as Bork Bronzefang stands up first. He goes, Bork Bronzefang, captain of the city guard, representing the Avon clergy. And he sits back down. You watch Isla slowly, as she does, raise up and go, Isla Bountain, Hoketh clergy. Oh, yeah, I lead it. And she kind of sits back down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, uh, a wood elf wearing really, like, like green clothes, very nicely inlaid. He's got, like, this hat. He kind of looks like one of the people from uh, the, the first Wyvarians from, like, um, What are you Monster talking about? That's just a leaf right there. That's just a walking leaf. <laughs> um, very, very nice, like, almost, like, stitched, um, like, wool clothes. Um, he's got, like, a huge stack of books next to him. Uh, he stands up, kind of gives Isla the side glance. He goes, uh, Joza Murad. I am representing the Almond clergy today. And he sits back down. You watch as a man in armor stands up, uh, very grizzled looking. He's missing a few teeth, um, and they've been replaced with gold ones. He's got an eye patch on one eye and a scar through the other. Uh, he's got really messy, kind of like um, uh, peppered, like gray and black hair, um, grizzled looking, kind of nicely trimmed beard. Um, and he kind of stands up and rests an elbow on the sword. He goes, Vincent Strawman. Us the clergy. He sits back down. Oh man, it's Joe Space Marine! <laughs> yeah, kinda. Space um, Marines. You watch as you didn't even notice him when you came in. You watch as uh, Edward and Robso rises up from his seat and goes, Edward and Robso, the Rasmund Collective, and sits back down. You watch as a very grizzled looking human, older, um, bald head, uh, kind of like a uh, patchy sort of beard wearing very nice armor, stands up, has a sword literally like 
like point down, like a great sword point down at his side. He stands up, uses that to bring himself up. He looks quite old. Um, he goes down and goes, Scarp Colric, representing the Vetrion clergy. And he just lowers himself back down. You get the sense that standing up for him is really hard. Uh, you watch as a very beautiful uh, elf then stands up. You notice specifically that her her outfit has antlers coming out of either side, and perched on them are a whole bunch of little songbirds. Um, and nice. she kind of holds her fingers together, and she just slowly rises up, and she goes, Ira Tifla Lia Valur of the Yidia Druidic Guild Circle. And she slowly lowers to the ground. Yeah, make, that checks out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you watch as another elf... Uh, oh, no, sorry. Uh, you watch as a very large, kind of rotund and stout man. You've seen this man before at the uh, the Silver King's Ball. He uh, he has a helmet resting next to him, which appears to have horns, similar kind of to the Minotaurs, uh, of this like long horn sort of design. He kind of stands up proudly, and he goes, Gunther Blade Brace, representing the Ginter clergy. And he slowly sits back down. You watch as, oh god, this last name, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> I got one for, I got actually two words for you, dragonborns. Ha! Um, you watch as a very regal looking, almost priest vestige dragonborn stands up. Wuyax <laughs> Drumthamurgathedin. He says his name properly where the D Can you spell that for us? D R U M P H O C M U R D I N. Why don't you just post that in the chat? Yeah, just, yeah. just paste it in the chat. Uh, oh, man. My notes are fucked. For the fuck. record, the first, thing was, was Monthy uh, the first thing was Monthy Act, right? Do you want some vowels? Yes. With what the yeah. shit Oh my god, that? why though? Dragon Drum fuck Murdy Act. Alright, so I'm out. just gonna call him Mr. D. Mr. Yeah, okay. Mr. Mr. D. Mr. D. No, we'll call him Big D, just like in Shadowrun. That's Big D. There we go. Um, He is a red dragonborn. Um, he is actually pretty thin for a dragonborn, kind of like Nuragan. Nuragan's kind of got like the, the sort of thinner snout and, and features. Um, he is also the same sort of physicality. Um, you see a uh, very, very beautiful looking woman. She has kind of like ringlet hair, um, probably about 40s, 50s maybe, a uh, human. Stand up. Um, in the moment she stands up, you see her sigil panic. You know exactly what she's from. She looks mm. up and she goes, look so vexed. Representing the Livrosia clergy, and she sits back down. And then uh, the dwarf is kind of like thumbing through paper. He goes, "Yeah, yeah, and I'm uh, Brothak, Thunderbraids, obviously." Mm. We do have some extra company for this particular um, this particular court. If you would be so kind as to introduce yourselves and stand up and tell us why you're here. You watch as a, a man, very unassuming looking, like brown hair, plain as day, wearing, you know, cobbled together, like nice outfit, like white like white shirt, black pants sort of deal. Um, stands up kind of like a little timidly. You get the sense that he hasn't really been in this sort of situation before. Uh, Ricardo Green, I uh, posted a quest for the USPA Voyager Trade Company uh, that may have led to the discovery of some of the evidence presented today. Um, in relation to the mercenaries I hired, and he kind of gestures to you guys. What was his name again? His name was Ricardo Green. Ricardo Green. Yeah, he's got very, like, very tan skin, uh, black hair, um, blackish brownish hair. Um, just very, his face is very plain looking. He looks like a, like the most normal man in the most strangely fantasy world. Uh, he human fighter. He's very human, yeah. Um, you see standing up the dwarf, uh, Gord Richvane, as you guys had worked for him. Uh, and he also notes that he hired you guys. Uh, and also Merrick Skalixern, who explains the lengths you went to retrieve a, uh, the teleportation orb and how great it's been and how it's like, he kind of like is almost like, he's like, oh, it's so great. And like, he starts getting kind of lost in his research and they're just like, all right, all right, get sit back down. <laughs> it's really good though. Super good. You should and try it. In part of our unison deal, we've brought in some extra people who are particularly interested in this issue as at hand. First up, if you wouldn't mind, you watch as Zerth stands up and goes, Zerth of the Ripjaw Pack! And she kind of slams back down into her seat yeah! and everybody else kind of jumps in the in next to her. Uh, the goblin stands up and goes, <clears throat> uh, God, well, Goblinson, uh, director and manager of the Minion Reformation Alliance. 
I love this man. Gobble <laughs> Gobble. Is his name Gobble Goblinson? No, his name is Gobwell Goblinson. Gobwell. Gobwell Goblinson, yes. Gobwell. I this man Gobwell. is amazing. Gobwell Goblinson. And he's from the Goblin Referendum thing? He's from the Minion Reformation Alliance. Oh my god, I love that! Oh my god, the, oh my god, the MRA's here? <laughs> I hate you all with this people. Monty, I'm trying so hard to take so many notes. I'm it's sorry. So this Once we get through this, it'll be fine. Okay. But these are all pretty high brow people, and this is where I, you're- I need these names! Yeah. Uh. Alright. Uh, you watch as the tiefling rises up. Uh, he kind of stands up and goes, <clears throat> kind of stretches out his back. He kind of like rocks on his feet a bit and he goes, uh, Urzen Fell. Uh, I am currently filling in our leader spot representing the Briar Hearts Guild. Yeah, okay. He just sits back down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, you watch as a man wearing like a cloak stands up. He looks like Aragon. Like, Yay. straight up looks like Aragon. Oh, he's um, Trevor Belmont. Hell yeah. Kind of, yeah. It's he stands up. You notice um, he's got a piece of like he's almost like Welch. He's got a piece of straw though in his in his hand. Um, he stands and he goes, Travic, Travis McKinsley, the guild leader of the Riders. He sits back down. Hmm. You watch as the entire ground begins to shake as you watch the Minotaur rise up, towering <laughs> over almost everybody. And he looks down. And it's hard to see his face under this this helmet, which he refuses to take off. I Chogo Steam Snout, leader of the Iron Tremplers. He sits back down. I wonder what he does for a living. You <laughs> see next a rather bubbly human woman sorry, stand I hate up. To be like, can I get that name one more time? Uh, I Chogo Steam Snout. Steam Snout. Got it. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, the next person you see is a rather young woman. You probably would say, like, not even at her 20s yet. She's probably, like, 17, 18. Um, she's got goggles in her hair. She almost looks a bit like Avery, except for she's got, like, this big, giant bush. Like, this, this big afro of, like, curly black hair. Um, and her name is great because it fits it perfectly. And she stands up and she goes, We're Chella Curl! We're from the Sea Skippers! She sits back down. The Sea Skippers and the name was? Rochella Curl. Rochella Pearl. Curl. 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 Got it. Sorry. As in curling. Got it. Like that. The, right the, 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 and they are they are the. the, the they are they are they are the, they are the, the leader skippers. of the sea skippers. Yeah. You get the sense at this point going down this list, these are all mercenary companies or guilds that have some sort of stay in the, in the the council of some sort. Mm. Uh, the next one that stands out is a, is a female dwarf, um, very very big cheeks. Um, but has a sense of solidity to her. Um, the hair is brought up into a tight bun. She sends him, she goes, Brat Mullen Boulderforge, leader of the Handy Brandies. And she pulls out a flask and just tips it and then sits back down. I, yes, good. More time, okay. I laughed too hard. Uh-huh, no, this is fine. I love it. You're gonna have to do it like four times for us because... <laughs> no, just one more time with that name. Uh... Brat Mullen Boulderforge Candy Brandies. I will just copy and paste them to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh no, I just could. Okay, there we go. Thank you. There you go. go. There there you go. go. I was not. I thought I was Rat Woolen. I fucking. What? Dude, what? I fucking. Come on. We're both yeah. tired. All right. <laughs> Next up, you watch as the uh, Tabaxi doesn't really stand as much as he just kind of like illusionist like f slides up to a standing position almost oh he, he knows Feratu's up hell yeah <laughs> yeah and he kind of flips a coin in his hand and he kind of like brings he puts his hand on the brim of the hat and kind of flashes his eyes these beautiful just green eyes and he goes my name's mr chance Ooh. tips the hat god <laughs> Man. i don't the, really what, have a who? home mr chance is his name and that's which one is that the tabaxi. The tabaxi and the the, yeah. bo the bottom dollar one. Bottom dollar. It's like, cool. we don't really have a base of operations, but if we had to give ourselves a name, the bottom dollar will do us fine. One of these days, you're going to have to build a, a pyre for Talentura. And then you see Bork kind of turn and go, unfortunately, your god has no place in justice. Only truths lie. He goes, ah, fair enough. He sits back down. <laughs> Man! I didn't realize we invented, we, uh, we invited the godfather. And oh, the last person you see... Greckles, this stands out to you, is a human woman, mm. very much from the Eastern Isles. Her hair is up in like almost the geisha style haircut, 
with just two longer strands of hair coming down. She is wearing Yukata similar to yours, except for the female attire. Mm -hmm. um, on her waist is a, is a huge sword, like like a very decent sized katana blade. Ah, she has a katana. Yeah. She's got and a no she, dachi. She stands up, she goes, Aika Emiko from the Ejin. And she sits down. Aika. The Ejin? Yeah. Ejin. Got it. Okay, oh. I'm going to misspell Ejin, please. I J I N. Or I I J I N. Uh, I G. Uh, da, 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 let me just copy paste it. Thank you. I J I N, I assume. I J I G. There we go. I G I N. Yeah, yep. ah. I, was, I was close. I was hey, not. I got it right. You watch as the dwarf kind of turns and goes, These are all our representing parties. We would like to have an overview of what this entire tribunal is about, but I think that goes without saying. It appears to us that the United Clergy of Oren from the Isles of Periton have been poking their heads into Alavast. Now, this business is not new to us, but we cannot jump to assumptions. That being said, these five individuals, four of which that are under the company of Miss Fleet Fingers. And she's just, she just hasn't moved. She's just kind of blinking and looking at the situation. <clears throat> have happened upon evidence. And the nature of how they happened upon this evidence is particularly concerning. We'd ask first for Miss Grinelda, guard of the Lower City District, to come down and speak on the evidence that she retrieved upon initially taking on this case. And you watch as Grinelda walks out. She does not have a tabard, uh, but she, her armor looks very nice. Um, and she doesn't look as usually like, you know, indifferent as she usually tends to be. She actually has been taking this quite seriously. And as she steps up in the floor, there's no pew or anything. She just stands in the middle of the floor in front of everybody around her. You watch as, from, as uh, Doros and Sinan open up a door and a little cart is wheeled in. And on top of this cart, is a wooden box and the cart is ee, 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 rolled in and the attendants open the box lift out the contents of the box and place it next to her and what it is is a little bell on a piece of like metal on a little hanger there's no handle to ring it there's no piece of rope to ring it and it just sits Next to Grinelda. I will just do this for the sake of brevity. Grinelda relays everything you guys gave to her. She details how you guys went on this mission, how you were attacked and were injured with proof of said attack. She talks about how you guys eventually managed to rescue Remy and make your way out. She talks about the battles and what happened. And she talks about the evidence you guys presented. All the pieces of evidence come out. Specifically, what catches most people's eyes are the swords. There are 12 swords that are brought out on stands. Each one is listed out. Thunderbite, Eternal Harmony, Hell Scream, The Silencer, Gut Render. And in that name, you see Zerth just kind of, kind of growl at that. Ooh. Lich Slicer. Mm -hmm. Broken promise, and you see uh, Ika also kind of like there's this look to her that she's just like holding back emotions. Mm. The gray hand, the scale piercer, the ambassador, and you see a few of the dwarves just kind of clench their jaws. Man, the slice of life. <laughs> That's such please a good name. Please tell me Chance mer mer moves at that. Uh, no, but you do, see, you do see Abacus kind of, Ooh. your cheeks do move. Ooh. And the king's legacy. Mm. Uh, the man in the Uspa seat rises up. He points to the blades. He goes, I have confirmed that each of these blades belonged to an Alavastian sailor who has done business in Alavast and had home in Alavast. 
Many of these individuals have been missing over the course of the past, I'd say, six or seven months. Their disappearances were a question, perhaps piracy. We thought perhaps storm giants that had been noticed in the area and even dragon attacks from coastal bronze dragons. But this, he kind of smashes his hand down, shows us who the true perpetrators are. And he sits down. You watch as another rises up. Uh, the man from the Almond clergy, uh, the wood elf, kind of rises up. True as that may be, how are we to be certain that they themselves collected these individually from each captain? This seems hardly too much, and why would they even keep them? The United Clergy of Orin is not barbarous in any means. They are very cultured, similar to us. <laughs> can, can, can we, can we insight that? Task, I'm begging you, please, no. I fucking want to insight that so hard. Pick amongst you who will insight. I will. Oh, okay. so, never will, mind. I nat 20. <laughs> he nat 20, I got a 17. I will say this. We'll let this one roll go because next time, whenever it's an insight roll, you have to choose someone who's going to do it. Oh, okay. one person. Got okay. So I'm going to say it. for this task, he is not lying. He is genuinely looking at other options because he Wow, knows. you yeah. misguided asshole. <laughs> he, does, he doesn't know. He probably he just doesn't want to go to war. He probably I'm doesn't want to go to war with these people. Right. Right. To be fair, no, there's fair. a lot of reasons not to go to right. war. Right. I'm not going to respond, but I was just like, mm, I smell bullshit on you. Rage of tasks, give me sight beyond sight. <laughs> I don't besides you know, dragons, with respect, and he kind of turns and looks to the Orthoc clergy men who just kind of nods, guy with a ridiculously long last name. Um, with respect, dragons have been known to hoard, and dragons have been in that area. I don't wish to completely say that they are innocent, but how are we not to know that perhaps this was taken from a dragon nearby? And he just kind of sits down. Uh, you watch as... The us uh, traitor guy just kind of meekly stands up. He goes, "May I? May I speak?" And the door goes, "Aye, aye, go ahead and speak." Um, this has been reoccurring. Ships going missing and bodies being dumped. I have found ships that have all their goods on board, and the the companies are gone. Um, the ships that have fallen. This appears to be where the weapons have gone. None of these weapons would ever reach the mainland. They shouldn't reach the mainland. And there is a dragon along this coastline, Fervain. And there's kind of just murmuring amongst everybody. She is becoming ancient. She is older. Um, uh, as free as a dragon can be, certainly. Um, I've, uh, I, I've spoken to her once or twice. Roll an insight. Whoever would like to roll an insight. I would say panic. You would get advantage. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'll roll inside. I, yeah. 21. Hey, chicka bum bum. Oh, my. Oh! <laughs> you notice, oh. you notice he's a little sheepish at talking about that. <laughs> Woo! Uh -huh. I, I can guarantee you that there are no dragons sieging the current coastlines of the bays of Alavast. Whoever this was would either have to be doing it underwater or would be attacking with their own ships. You watch as uh, another woman in the uh, guild stands up, the Sea Skipper girl. Just bright, bushy hair, and just like, she's got this big, she's got this almost permanent smile on her face. Pippi Longstocking. Goes, kind of, yeah, like like a darker mm. skin, like black haired Pippi Longstocking. Um, I'm trying to think who she would remind people of, but I can't really think of a comparison at the moment. Um, she kind of stands up. She's got like seashells in her hair, and she kind of stands up and she goes, if it means all the same to you, we have brought statement evidence of a ship bearing Periton's symbol leaving recently. We thought this would be appropriate evidence and has been filed accordingly. She kind of gives a nod to Burke Ronsfeg, who just kind of sagely nods back. So they've left for now. Thank our lucky stars. She sits down. You watch as Zerth kind of takes her fist and smashes it down onto her, her podium, which you notice does have dents in it. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, this is ridiculous. Why are we talking? We should be getting revenge for our brethren. That sword, she jabs to it, belonged to my brother. He shouldn't have died the way he did. 
You should have died fighting the vampires. She what? sits down. Morky starts looking around. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can, can we... Hang on. Can we... That, yeah, you can't just say that and sit down. Like, can we... Uh, you watch as Bork kind of raise up a hand and goes, Zerth, with respect, the battle against the vampires is in Tracadia, not in Alabast. Oh, shit. From what we know, there are no vampires here. Mm. Mm. As it sounds treason, other evidence suggests, and you watch as the dwarf brings up various different maps and plans. The veterans were able to crack a sort of combat code, and we've discovered a bit of haunting evidence that proves wrong. As you individuals would say, and he actually points towards you guys, when you were there, I heard rumors that you were fighting dragons from the dragon cults to the north. Am I to be assured? I will warn you if you lie. He points to the little bell next to uh, Grinelda. That bell will ring. Ah, your, I thought so. And your evidence HP gauge will go down after five turns. Ah, beams. Well, then don't <laughs> like, have I, to, if they don't, don't have, have a zone of scum the whole case, then. If they don't have a zone of truth, I was going to be stunned. Man, I was, I'm going to tell you honestly, guys, that's why you got to do save states. You got to do save states for yeah. all this way through. <laughs> you got to save before you make your option. We call the clown to be the witness. Oh, fucking no! This is your turn. fault for this clown being here. I'm taking it out on you. <laughs> Sorry. Call the Inquisition. Okay. It's yeah. 22. Not fun. Anyway. Oh, it's a good game, but that clown wasn't fun. I, I assume we all look to Tass to speak on, on this yep. matter. So, what, re relay the question one more time so I do not fuck this up, because, again, I'm so, running on half energy. Basically, he's asking, when you were there, did you fight or encounter any members of the Dragon Cult? We yes did or so. no? Yes Ye or no? Yes. Yes, we did. About how many could you be good? Could you give me a number? Both we... dragonborn, human, or dragon? Uh, we fought. It was the two dragon cultists, and then it was two dragons, two red dragons. So I, I, I relay how many people we fought that were part of the cult to do the transaction. Aye, and this transaction, the people who were there, they were members of the United Clergy of Orin. The uh, two who were there to take the trade. Aye. Mm. They were, or they weren't, members of the United Clergy of Orin. Mm. Okay, so above game task, you'll remember there were two people ah, there. No, but, 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 but. no, no. <sighs> Fuck, I asked the wrong person, and I am so tired. Uh, could I take over yeah. in his stead? Go ahead. You no. can raise your hand and see. Yeah. Roll, roll, a, roll a persuasion check with advantage because you currently are in the court's favor. Twelve. Where's my dice tray? Oh, you know what? We need some more official dice. Let me grab some better dice than these ones. Ah, yes. These ones are too colorful for yeah, court. Tournament um, standard what? dice. Again, sorry, I'm fucking. No, half, it's fine. Um, You're fine. I, dude, listen. Yes. Two weeks of taxes, and I and it ended up on this <laughs> night. Like, fuck. All right. He, the dwarf kind of looks, uh, notices Tass kind of like trying to remember, and he kind of turns to you, panic, and those. Aye, aye, aye. Stand up, devilman. Panic stands up. The, um, the other two completing the transaction were not members of the Orin clergy, but they were acting on their behalf. There's kind of this, this sort of like the moment you say they were not or in clergy, there's kind of like this almost like this gasp and people are kind of looking at each other. And then the moment you say the rest of it, they just kind of all mumble and he goes, Could you describe for me who these individuals were? Uh, they looked to be tribal orcs. But we later learned that the United Clergy of Orin had pretty much beat into submission to persuade them to do their bidding. Well, there's kind of some chattering. You hear the shuffling of papers. Um, and you do see a, um, a, a a druid, the druid lady, with all the birds. The moment she stands up, all the birds go fly away. She stands up. She goes, this is true. We received reports from one of our druids there, Pine Cricket, that the orcs were in fact still residing there. Their numbers were quite small. So if the United Clergy was to take advantage of them, the plausibility of that seems very likely. 
We've also heard that they are reaching out to the local villages in hopes to perhaps repair any sort of damage that may have happened due to past events. She slowly lowers herself down and sits down. All right, so the dwarf begins to write things. There's kind of this quiet moment where everyone's kind of writing and collecting their own things. I guess, it kinda... eh, I guess it doesn't make sense for Tass to just, like, focus in on the fucking dragon cult, because that's the whole his whole deal, so yeah. Also, it's him kind being of not off related an hour to memory that. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, you watch as there's kind of this murmuring, and they all kind of look and they go, We're going to call on to our next witness. Lionel. He refuses to give a last name, so he has forfeited it. You watch as he kind of just stands up. And you do notice, kind of like, Fork is usually just trying to look as friendly as possible. You know, trying to look pretty appealing to people who look at him. The moment this guy stands up, you see, like, the, the guard in him, like, the officer in him. His head kind of, like, his chest kind of pushes out, his shoulders kind of slack a little bit. You do notice his hand kind of at the side of his sword as this, as Lionel stands up and walks over. You do notice at this point that he is manacled. There are chains between both of his uh, both of his hands. Uh, you do notice there are runes in these manacles, obviously meant to suppress any sort of arcane ability. Given the nature of Aladus, it makes sense. I am Lionel. I... You see him kind of like this look on his face. <sighs> I am a member of the United Clergy of Orin. Ding, 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 ding. The bell goes off. <laughs> he kind of, kind of <laughs> winces at that. I Ooh. was, I was a member of the United Clergy of Orin. The bell doesn't ring. Ah, uh, yeah. Hello. <clears throat> kind of turns and looks towards you guys. Whoever would like to, one amongst you may make an intimidation check. Me. Or, I was, oh, okay, that works. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good call, oh, oh, oh. damn. 27. <laughs> natural 20, baby. With that natural 20, time stops for you, like Phoenix Wright. Um... <laughs> And you were able to solve something in your head. Helena and him are in the same room. I broke oh. the locks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, did. I broke the chains on his heart. Um, him and Helena are in the same room. Helena, you can tell something happened between them and it was not good. Ooh. And you can tell he's kind of at this point lost everything. And you stare at him and you'll stare through him. And he catches you. And you see his brow purse and every conflict in him almost fall out of his hands. Like he's trying to carry every expectation, everything he could ever have, and it's just falling out. So he just drops it all. He turns and he looks up and he goes, we were part of two squadrons. We took turns on ships, we ran vessels, loot them, kill anyone who was of a lesser race to gain resources to build a base camp at the edge of Alavast. And there's a huge murmur across everyone. The goblin, uh, I think, what was his name? Shit. How could it, you was, uh, it was Gobs Gobwell Goblin. Gobwell, yeah. Gobwell looks like pale almost like he's listening to this when he talks about this it was a mixture of study occupation training for new recruits our goal was to make a network with other individuals here uh you watch as um the vetrion clergyman scott stands up and he goes, for what reason? And you watch his, like, Leonel, who has no, probably no, like, he's had his history with having people probably yell at him, kind of just slightly flinches, just because the echo and the reverberation of the room, Leonel kind of shifts down. He goes, we're making communications with the fire giants to the south. 
and the dragon cult to the north. And there's just kind of stunned gasps. From what I know, we've united with the fire giants. How far along that's come, I don't know. I've just heard murmurs of it amongst my past leader. Our plan was to raise the east, set up a base camp there, and then potentially invade the city in some capacity. And there's just stunned silence and murmurs and just people talking left and right. And there's people who aren't surprised. You obviously are amongst them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the us, the clergyman, not surprised at all. The Vetrion clergyman just looks angry. Um, Brork, not surprised. Isla, you don't even know if she's currently... <laughs> Unreadable. <laughs> yeah. She's an, 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 an absolute obvious. enigma. Like, yeah. The Almond clergy guy looks uncomfortable and really nervous. Um, the also, so does the Druidic lady and, uh, the Ginter clergyman just kind of has his arms crossed dad style and just seems like kind of stuck. Various different expressions run through. I think you hear as the Liversean clergy woman stands up. I think that is enough. The weapons we've obtained, the testimonies. These individuals, she kind of looks to the, the five of you. We've known this is coming. We've known this since last year. We've caught the attention of those who are much bigger than us. And now we need a plan. And everyone kind of grows a little bit silent. You watch as the Minotaur stands up. I'm not a man of the cloth. Not really mad at all. <laughs> what I do know is that this sort of calculated move is a bad omen. I'm not saying we're not going to win, but if we are going to win, we're going to need friends. Another option you hear, uh, the rider. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Hold up. Opposition. 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 Uh... Shit. Where are you? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> the tension, though. I know. Uh, the rider guy. The the. Actually, no, no, no. Hold on. Shit, he's not him. Where's the other guy? Oh, the Al Alman Crozier. There he is. Uh, the Almon clergyman kind of rocks up to his feet and goes, We can't go to war. It's very clear what they want. We might as well just give it to them. And he kind of gestures a hand towards Solly. And you see his Brook, you just see like a slight twitch to Brook's mouth. We all turn our heads in unison to glare at this guy. Yeah, yeah for right. real. For real. Uh, there are some stairs, but there are some people who are nodding in agreement. Hmm. The Almond clergyman, the Uspa clergyman as well. The Vetrion one, just kind of Gre like... Greckles actually holds up his hand at this point. They all kind of give you a moment, and then they all turn back to themselves. It is not your time to speak, unfortunately. <laughs> and he'll lower his hand. We all know that the issue of the Eclipse, the Almond clergyman kind of continues... Fuck. ...was a mystery to many of us clouded in shadows and questionable behavior. And he kind of jabs a look towards Edward, who is actually currently filing his nails. <laughs> well, yeah. not He's got this smug, like, <laughs> I told you so sort of face. Man, you should have listened. Yeah. You do whatever you want. <laughs> how many, how, how many times, Brooke Bronsfang, how many times have the United Clergy of Orin given us formal letters to return to them their soldier. How many times? We had the visit before all of this madness began. We had after the eclipse, and we had two more letters after that. Stop putting this evil on us. When you watch as the uh, Ilone clergywoman kind of stands up and goes, I object to this notion. What was subjugated to Sully Andrus was not unique. And sending her back will be a death sentence. And Burke kind of nods and goes, I agree. 
Where would it end then, Murad? Do we send back the people of Eltmer? Do we send back the people of the Glueback Swamp? Do we send back the people of the Tatalan Jungle? Simply due to the fact that people do not like us and our way of life? And you see, you sue Gobble Goblins and like nodding, like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Soliandris is not only a member of the city, but now a member of the council, and you will treat her with respect. She is no evil put upon us, no darkness put upon us. She is, in fact, might be the only chance we have to endure the United Clergy in any capacity. There's kind of murmurs over the crowd. I think these four could attest to that, and as well as Mr. Corbeau. Patch just holds his hand up and like, uh, yep, absolutely. I just, I guess they're all just nodding. Yeah, just nodding, yeah. yeah. You watch as Bart kind of turns and looks at you, Greckles. That Kenku there, he can attest for this. He knows better than I do the plight that Sully Andrus has gone through. Greckles nods with that sort of gesture of, I could say more, but only if... Given permission. Given permission, essentially. So doesn't it seem to me, you hear a clack, clack, clack of feet as a new body enters the room. I forgot her name. But she's uh -oh. the dragonborn, and she wasn't very nice. Oh! Are you talking about the one from before? Damn it! The yeah. representative from Chelstonia. Yeah, so Bismati, uh, Prim Ah, uh, Bismati, that was it. Thank you. Yep. Good, you're here. Happened. Thank God! <laughs> Who? No, I'm saying Bismati, she's like, oh, you're here, thank God. Yay. She Yay. kind of rests her hands at her hips and she stands poised. And you watch as the scribe, who's just like, who's been taking notes this entire time, looks and goes, you're late. And she's just like, I know. <laughs> and she kind of sits and goes, interesting then that these individuals, of all people, would be present in such specific instances. And she kind of lulls her head and looks at um, Edward. They were there during the eclipse, and all of that information has disappeared or has been rendered blank. And she kind of glares at Brork, just kind of neutral face. Then these individuals take a job that conveniently leads them into the hands of the United Clergy of Oren. I agree. I do think they're scouring our, our beaches and our bays. I think they're a legitimate threat to Alabast. So let me ask you this, and she turns to the five of you. And I would ask truthfully, who gave you that job, really? And everyone stares at you. I will say for this, someone roll an insight. Choose amongst you who will roll an insight. I will give you advantage. Uh, I've got four. Nice. Let's I got two. I've got five. Me, Borky. Okay, let's let's do <laughs> let's let's do our good crowbow boy. I, I was gonna I, say. I, I really hope we need. To, I, really, I really hope we need to move a rock in this courtroom. That's Remy, all I'm gonna say. Remy, I need you to roll well. I need you to do this. Fifteen. Got advantage. Fifteen. Okay. Pulled up fucking charisma face spellcasters. As you're looking at this woman, Remy, your eyes pass and you see um, Edward. And as you look at him, every single thing in his eyes says, lie and trust me. <clears throat> Clears Go throat ahead. and deception. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, only Remy saw that, right? I know. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Only Remy saw that. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remy is going to lean over because he's, I don't know who's sitting next to him. I'm going to assume panic. And he's going to lean in and say, okay. Tell them it was the trade company. I know exactly. <clears throat> the, um. Please. Oi. Stand in the middle. You have to stand up and stand next okay. to the bell. I, I, uh, I stand up and I stand next to the bell. The 
posting on the quest board was by one Captain Clarence Warhol of the Privateer Tradesmen of the USPA Voyager. I would like everybody else who did not speak to roll perception checks. Here I go. Is this visual or audio? Visual. God, why? Let's give 17. Uh, 16. Okay. Forky? That's a nine. <laughs> you found some, some crackers on the floor, Borky. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> I wanted to say, oh, what's this magical gemstone? Hmm. Remy and Greckles, the two birds. You watch as Panic's shadow curls up and holds the bell in place. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Out of view of everyone. Fuck yeah. Shit snacks. Only from where you guys are sitting. Because you guys are slightly away from the rest of these giant things. You guys kind of off to the side like the kids' table. Only you guys from your angle can see that happen. Remy's not going to make any indication he saw a damn thing. Photorealistic. To be fair, that. that was what was on the posting. <laughs> I was about to say, that wasn't a complete lie. That wasn't a lie at all, to be fair. He's yeah, just being yeah. careful. There's a few moments, and there you go. All right, then. Sit down there, son. Nice pants. I, I bow and I take my seat. So, that leads us to part two of this tribunal. The evidence is overwhelming. The United Clergy of Orne is coasting our shores. We have many allies in our neighboring countries, and I think we have a few more. By the works of these individuals during the Opera Company kidnapping, good job, by the way. He kind of, the dwarf kind of juts you guys a look. Thumbs up. <laughs> Borky just waves. <laughs> through, through relinquishing a heart of Nerasmin and the remains of the Talon, the Nomarian army has now got a skyship up and running. And I'd say owes us a few favors. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. We will let our Nomarian ambassadors reach out to the king of Nomeria. And perhaps... These dragon bastards won't be bothering us in the skies any longer. We can send the Silver King his children. You watch as um, the uh, the Vetrion gentleman sends up. I also have another idea for that front. Everyone kind of turns into. We cannot rely on the dragons forever. Very soon they will get bored and leave. <laughs> I'd say at most we'll have them for maybe the next two years. Most of them will probably leave by then. Brighter pastures, I can't blame them. Some may remain, and that's all well and good. But the fact that we had an ancient white dragon descend upon us speaks volumes. I'd like to get a personal force set up in Alavast. Our own squadron of flying soldiers. And I believe that man sitting there, and he kind of points a finger to you, Remy, might have some ideas for that. If he was able to survive an encounter with the United Clergy of Orin in such intense circumstances and see the way that they work and how they attack, I think Remus Corbeau could make for a great commander of a Griffin Cavalry in the city of Alabast. Oh, yeah. nice. I, I sort of look over at Remy with like the whole oh, face and I start shaking him. <laughs> yeah. So outside Remy's fine, inside Remy's a mess. <laughs> that of course is if he's willing. We can make the funds happen. You watch as he turns and looks at uh, Abacus. He's just like, already has an Abacus out, and she's currently counting the numbers. <laughs> and once all this other shit gets solved, mm. you watch as the scribe goes, ah, and then walks over and puts a gold piece in a swear jar. <laughs> Not to say. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, you watch as just kind of murmurings about. So, Zerth kind of says a, what about them? And she kind of jabs a finger towards Solly, uh, Helena, and um, Lionel. Uh, Brooke kind of stands tall and goes, It has come to the decision that Lionel will remain jailed for some time due to attacks on the city, war crimes, assault, attempted murder, amongst other various sentences. The one remaining in the guard. Oh. As you, a civilian. Uh, oh, hang, hang on, you, you cut really bad. Oh, where'd I One cut out? Hello. Just after, after, bit. after the, after the, the, the prison sentencing. Okay. Helena, who we know was 
and was in the company of Viantius Epistrophe and his party, has been relinquished to the observation and hiring of Dorosky Grayscale, where she will remain employed, however, under continuous watch for the time being. And you watch as he kind of gives a side glance. You see some shame on Helena's face. It's probably not ideal. Solly Andrews is now a member of this council. I would like for her to be the voice of Orin, perhaps in the following proceedings, if she chooses so. And he kind of stares at everybody. If not, she will remain a representative of the Illinois clergy as she has been. There's kind of just mumbles and sorting, like flipping of paperwork and things like that. It's very a lot of like talk, silence, talk, silence. There are three other manners we wish to address in this council, and they all, everyone turns and looks to you. Uh-oh. Everybody Boy. turns and looks to you. Oh, oh good. Great. Boy. Dumb. Great. Da -dum -dum. It's about the cart thing. <laughs> come, come. No, no, no. It's going to be the judgy. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 I do not first. have sex with that woman. <laughs> Yikes. It, the callback, though. God. <laughs> Every, everyone is looking at you, um, and you watch as first is the reimbursement. Very clearly that these individuals were managed to collect, present, and attend this tribunal. Obviously, there will be a more private one as the matters come to surface. But for their sake, I believe that their rewards are in order. And you watch as the uh, as uh, the Alman clergy. It's just like. I'm sorry, are you asking for them to receive the stolen goods that they managed to reobtain? And you watch as the tiefling guy, like the tiefling mercenary stands up and goes, oh, what is that? The, 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 the murder weapon? Get off their dick! And he's just kind of like, oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And, the tea, and everyone's just like, and you watch as the door goes, I silence! <laughs> I'm gonna give you one more warning, Urizen. I know you're not a man of the court, but you know better. Porky's, Put the coin in the swear jar. Porky's just looking and said, yeah, get off our dick. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead. Do we have our coin pouches on us? No, you don't. Uh, we don't beans. have anything on us. I, I wanted you, to, watch, I wanted... you watch as the scribe comes over, and he just oh, kind of rolls his eyes and throws a gold coin and just kind of frumps his arms across. You can tell he hates this. He's not supposed to be here. <laughs> uh, you watch as Earth goes, I believe it is in within best interest for the swords to go back to their respective, well, owners closest of kin. Not to speak on any selfish desire, but I wish for my brother's sword to be buried with his memory. Not to be lost and used by tyrants. He watches, he kind of spits. Um, and he watches the dragonborn, Besmati. She kind of stands and she goes, I do believe it is inappropriate for most of these goods to be handed over. The magical goods are willing. I'd say that would be fair. And there's kind of a nod, and Edward kind of turns and goes, Yes, I believe the magical goods are nothing we require for a collection, so they may receive them. Yeah, yeah, it's kind yeah. of just like shifting paperwork. On top of that, there is the gold which you had collected. We will relinquish not that exact sum. The coinage is technically evidence. But we will relinquish, uh, relinquish an equal amount of your choice. Mm -hmm. Oh. You can either have double the gold amount... <gasps> Or the gold amount and double, uh, the gold amount and equivalent amount ish in Alabastian credits. Oof. So you either take the money you guys earned in Alabastian credits or double the money. Honestly, See, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be that guy and say I want to double the money, but that's so, perfect. Can, can no, I, guess, I, so I above, that can, I, can I ask above game for the differentiation between just general gold and Alabastian credit? Mm-hmm. So obviously gold is for goods. Right. Um, at that point, you guys I think would make like twenty thousand gold. Right. Oh, 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 right. Oh, uh, right. Hold on. Hold on. In equivalent Alavastian credit, that would probably be about five thousand oh. Alavastian credits, we, and then ten thousand gold we, pieces. I would still, I'd still go with the double gold. We how, how, how much AC do how much AC do we have right now? I don't think you guys have much right now. I will double check. Oh, Ace, so Alabastian credit is what they've been using to upgrade the. That's what they use. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we currently Got have it. forty. We have forty-one sixty-five. So you could double that. But do we need to? How like, much you're building a temple, guys. You're building a temple. How much do we need for Log's temple? 
Uh, we already. Started. It says it says in the party inventory how much things cost. We also were. We a lot of us are broke. By the by. Yeah. Well, you see, that's kind of the big. You gotta 000. save better, guys. A right, penny right. saved is a penny earned. You motherfucker. <laughs> Greckles, so. Greckles punches Borky in an alternate universe. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, task would help. Now, just keep in mind, you can't use gold to buy the things that you can get with the... Like, you can't just change your mind and be like, oh, we we'll spend the gold to buy this instead. It's like we, either... can, we can currently yeah. buy a cleric and a temple with the money we have... With the AC we have currently. Double the money, double the money, double the money. Double the money. Guys, hold on, hold guys, on. you guys don't have that amount. You have 965 AC. Wait, how do we... Wait, what? Uh, it was spent to hire log. Yeah. We can and make more AC. You guys are, you only have 900. I remember that. We it's can make, sit there. we Wait, can make we... more. <sighs> we did get the fight pit. We, yeah, yeah, you guys you got, got the fight, fight pit. pit you got one you of hey, log. hey, if we get the AC, we can buy a log's temple. Okay, I'm going to be that guy. I want to be selfish and get some money for once. Yeah, 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 yeah but, that, but if. We need to figure out how much AC we have left over because if we get log his temple, we have him already hired on as a cleric for the fight pit. If we get a bookie, then we can start, start making, making money. money. Yeah, so the AC is going to immediately show you returns, which is why I was going to argue that if you guys get that, plus it's also probably harder to get, you guys could make gold through the fight pit by doing the AC round. If we do over how I, long? I want some goddamn fucking money. That's all I'm saying. You're still getting 10,000 gold. No, I know. I, I said I am willing to do so, but I want to see some fucking dividends. We, we're still we're still getting we're still getting ten thousand gold either way. Yeah, I I, I think it makes sense so, to yeah, both so, upgrade your yeah. uh, upgrade your your oh my god tavern is the word I'm looking for because it'll make money for you mm -hmm. and you're still coming away with ten thousand gold. And from what I've noticed, and this is again above game, AC is a lot harder to come by, so yeah, that's a lot of AC to use. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do half of <sighs> double AC. So ten thousand double AC, and then double the AC. We're you still getting get... two thousand gold a piece. Yep. Yeah, you also are getting Which all the magical away. items, including the sunblade, the the bottomless, the hole. It's empty though. Your hole. <laughs> no, your portable right. hole. My hole is so empty. <laughs> Panic's bottomless hole. <laughs> also, think about the ramifications if you don't build this fucking temple. Uh, th that's Borky's fault, not any of yeah. ours. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, help, we help him. Yeah. He saved our lives from the evil, the evil, the evil sexy tree. Yeah. I really want you guys to have a temple personally, because I think later game you're really gonna fucking need it. But oh my god! All right, yes. fine. For that, all right. Sweet, don't worry, we'll sweet feel true resurrection. Well, if the god, if literally God tells us maybe it might be in our best interest to get a temple, I'll go AC. To give you to give you a sense of how much AC is worth, um, five thousand AC is is like, uh, sorry, that's okay. Like I'm gonna say this completely wrong. Conversions. Yeah. Basically, slap a zero to the end of it, and that's how much it is in gold. Mm. Okay. So yeah. now you've uh, quintupled your gold. Okay, fine. A C. Yeah. You watch as Abacus just like they're like Abacus, and she just lifts her hand and like, oh, okay, yeah. she's got that done. Now the last thing on the docket that we have with our witnesses, the unexpectables as they're known, yeah. is your current ownership. Hmm? Uh oh. What? What? Bills do, boys. Uh, can, can I raise my hand? Oh, yeah, we've been dodging taxes this whole time. They look to you. <laughs> you mean our ownership of our tavern or the ownership in regards to Abacus hiring us on? Abacus, how are you on? Okay. Okay. You don't so. mind if we all find it a wee bit odd that four individuals, and Mr. Corbo, he kind of gives you like this knowing nod. That you four in particular are under the employment of an accountant, and yet you've done more mercenary work than most of the mercenaries currently in our company, respect given. Well, we were just, we were obviously given what was offered to us, and we took advantage of it. Mm. Aye, but to be in the employment of this individual for so long, no offense, Abacus, she kind of waves her hand, is a very strange, wasteful use of resources. Based on the evidence provided by your previous employers, you are a well-trained mercenary group. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Boy, he puts his hand to his chest. Oh, so nice. With backgrounds in things related to not only the silly, but its welfare, and you have not been reaping all the benefits. AC granted aside. Oh. Oh. There have been discussions <laughs> on your behalf. 
but this will make no changes to you. You may continue on with your work. As of today, I think with everyone in agreement, in a vast majority mo vote, we have found that the Unexpectables Guild be requisitioned and transferred to one Soliandris. You are oh, now under her she's our boss. employment. And Solly's just kind of like, uh, like stunned for a second. She looks to Bork, and Bork's just like, just nodding, like, just accept it, just, 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 just fine. We are under the belief, Mr. Brook Bronsving pitches us, that through your combined efforts, we may find some revel resolution in not only problems relating to the United Clergy of Orin, but also the benefit of the city and its other problems. That being said, we will ask Ms. Soliandris to employ you if she ever asks you to go on specific missions. We ask that you do, indeed, go on them. If not, you may requisition for a change in ownership, only if you are unsatisfied with your employer. And I believe that is all. You watch as everyone kind of murmurs around. Do we, like, we, we, do we cool, turn? we got a new boss. We turn back There's to no Solly. She's, she don't, Solly's already got a desk. Solly got a donut. She, Here, here's the problem, kids. <laughs> she literally, she literally is like staring, like not at the floor, but like past the floor, and it's just like wide-eyed, like oh fuck, like. Borky pop hops from in the in the background. I have I I I have some demands. <laughs> <laughs> like, you I don't think terms. this is a negotiation, I, buddy. I just feel no, that no. I just feel I just feel that uh, there should be a workplace safety. <laughs> Oi, gavel, gavel, gavel. There was one more requisition, very small. I think we can all do just a little click. I think we can slip it in. Just the clergy part if are necessary. I believe one of you had asked for visitation to the Ethic for some purpose. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Well, well despite us not really coming together for that, apparently that's been approved by a high-standing individual that outpowers us, even. And you watch as he hands off a piece of paper to the scribe uh, who walks over, just kind of hands it to you and just <gasps> and yawns and then walks back to her post and gets back to writing. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, it is a very nice piece of parchment that is rolled up. With respect, read that in the privacy of your own home. With that, I will say the majority audience is now adjourned. Witnesses and others may leave. Only counselors of the clergies may remain and we will speak more in private about this new eastern issue. We're now surrounded by all sides but west. He kind of stands up and just bang, bang the gavel. He watches all the guild members rise up, uh, that your employers, your past employers, but everyone else who's remaining are officials, um, all the members of the, 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 the clerics and the, uh, the various faiths, as you guys are let outside. Doros does not follow you. Um, because he is, has to on guard duty. Um, you guys all go out into like what looks like uh, back into the hallway, but are led kind of to this like sort of like meeting area where people are kind of discussing things. Um, you see like there's like snack, there's a snack table, and you watch as Earth is just kind of like eating, which is like <laughs> like anger eating. She seems very <laughs> kind of just upset in general. Um, the Minotaur and the um, uh, the the coastal girl are currently chatting, and she's like. She doesn't even go past his waist. Like she's, she's, oh. yeah, he's he's a big dude. Um, and like, she's just like talking. Um, and the Minotaur definitely seems to be guarding a lot of attention, just in general, from a lot of different people kind of meeting them. They seem to be greeting him almost, like, "Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome," and kind of walking about. And you guys, at this point, are kind of walking into the hall and getting your sight before a green body appears before you, slides in front of you with his purple suit. Uh, 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 he kind of like adjusts himself. Uh, uh, you, you are the unexpectables, yes. Yes. No, yes. We are. You are Mr. Goblin. You are Mr. Unexpectables. You are Mr. Yes, Goblinson. I, I am, I'm Gobwell Goblinson. I'm, I'm a part of the Minion Reformation Alliance. He kind of reaches up a tiny hand. Very clean. Very, very poised. Shake. Yeah, shake. Uh, it's very, he actually like, cups his hand over top of yours and gives you guys like a very firm handshake. Oh, thank you so much. I will say this as a member and a representative and manager of the Reformation Alliance. Can I just say how great it is to see uh, people of, of minion-based races? And he kind of jabs towards you a little bit, um, uh, Borky specifically, and Task. How, how great it is, you guys, to be to be searing the head and and showing not everybody that we're all just you know 
easily abusable and, 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 and we, we aren't worthy of a second chance. Um, I've been working in tandem with Bork Bruns Fangs, uh, a racial inclusion program, uh, to get those who have been trapped in horrendous and awful, um, you know, <laughs> abusive work related environments and bandits. He kind of just leans over banditry. Yeah, okay. um, yeah, yeah. Tabs integrated like into proper society. Um, if you ever want to, and he kind of like starts patting around, uh, here's a business card. Uh, we have a very small office uh, and we have uh, currently uh, looking to hire out some bugbears that we've had. Um, apparently used to worship a dragon. Uh, dragon's gone now. Uh, native to Alavas would be great. You know, learn the, 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 the rich history of Alavas amongst bugbears. Uh, so if you're you know, looking for maybe a bodyguard or, or someone to be a guild fighter, uh, yeah, yeah, just let me know. Um, it was very, very nice to meet you, and, and, and congratulations, and um, uh, thank you. I'm I really glad like... to see those who are uh, willing to stand up you know, for the little guys. Uh... Ta Task will take the card and look at it, and then look back to him very sternly, hands behind his back. We will be in touch. Ah, excellent. <clears throat> uh, yes! Uh, just, uh, he Borky just taps on the shoulder, whispers in his ear real quick. Do you know about Phantom Liv Sturva? I do. I actually do. Yeah, she's um currently trying to create a trade route. I'm trying to convince her to come into the city and do something, but she's very um people shy apparently. So um mm. some of her goblins have reached out to me potentially. I've I've gone there and visited her. Very unique individual, I would say. Um uh, particularly in the uh, uh the 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 hand department. Um but yeah, it is a potential. Would you like me to reach out for a potential hiring opportunity at your establishment or mm. other Just to say, I'm going to be in the interest of, per of knowing about um, porcelain birds. Okay, uh, I can send a letter in okay. Goblin to her. Alrighty. I can't promise anything. I don't even know if she can write. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, it's worth a try. Uh, anyway, I do have a meeting. I need to attend. Very nice speaking to you all. Uh, have a very lovely day. And he just kind of walks well. off. You as well, Mr. Uh, what was it? Goblinson. Goblinson. Yeah. Oh, is it a Mr. or a Mrs. though? Mr. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Uh, various people seem to have left. Um, there's just kind of a few putting around. If you guys want to leave, you can. Uh, you can stick around. Solly is there as well, just kind of sitting in a seat, just kind of like heads in her hands, just like. Is what? she alone? She is alone, but you know she's not always alone. No, 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 no. I know, I know. But I mean, like, like is it uh, is she approachable? Yeah, she's approachable. Burke's gone. He's obviously in that meeting as well as anybody else who would probably be taking care of her at this point. So she's Gre kind of on her own. Grickles kind of nudges everyone in the group, be like, "We should probably go talk to her." Probably. Yeah. I guess Grickles will take the take the walk yeah. on take the lead yeah, walk yeah. on that one. We'll follow. We'll, we'll approach. You guys walk in front of her, and she just kind of looks up and goes. Hi. Howdy, boss. Hey. Oh, please, no. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not make it, oh, man, let's not make it too crazy. <laughs> One thing at a time. Look, Sully, we just all want to let you know that we're willing to help you in any way we can to make this transition easier and simpler. That's why I sold you. You hear a voice behind you. You turn and look and you see Abacus adjusting her glasses. Wait, you sold us? Technically, yes. You were worth quite the sum. But I gave a discount. Yay! Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> who it's... would have thought a bunch of idiots who worked on my father's farm would end up where you are now? I'm it's almost rather, impressed. It's rather un unexpected, isn't it? Indeed. Uh -huh. The tavern's doing well. I've been getting your numbers from your bartender. She has a very excellent income skills. Very impressive. It should be able to self-sustain itself and grow over the course of the next few years. It might even be a staple of the lower district if you keep it up. Hey, we'll do our best, but Sully, if there's anything you need us to do, just name it. And you watch his advocate kind of turns and goes, I never utilized them. I wasted them on nothing. You know what you need to do, Miss Sully Andrus? She kind of gives a nod and she looks at you all and goes, pleasure doing business with you. If you ever need me, you know where to find me. Thank you, Abacus. For... Well, you know where to find us. Don't be a stranger, Miss Abacus. Yeah, I don't I like, like the loud and rowdy, with respect. And she kind of gives a glance towards Borky. You see her spellcasting hand kind of twitch a little bit. Mm. <laughs> I mean, we have a patio. <laughs> it's true. Get some chairs out there. I'll think about it. I've heard you have a very good wine selection. Oh, do we? Oh, boy, do we? 
She kind of gives a smile, which you never really see on her. She gives you guys a little bit of a sideways <laughs> smile. Smile and her skin cracks. <laughs> <laughs> her teeth just fall out. Uh <laughs> oh, shit. The sound of porcelain cracking. <laughs> Lies will remember that. Um, <laughs> she gives a smile. She takes her giant stack of paperwork and she walks away. Um, Solly just kind of looks down and she goes, can we talk somewhere privately? Absolutely. Okay. She stands up. Um, everyone at this point is kind of just like chatting. You watch as the, uh, is the, the tabaxi is like, kind of like showing tricks and stuff. Like he's not there to have fun. <laughs> I, I, and you oh. see the tiefling guy currently being dragged out, uh, by actually a Goliath, not Doros, but a different one. <laughs> um, just kind of being scolded. It's too far away for you guys to intervene, but it's just like, I'm just telling you, man, it's bullshit. He just kind of gets dragged away. <laughs> <laughs> um, eventually, you guys are let outside, mm. the sun kind of streaking through the attic and kind of landing. It's very beautiful. It's almost like looking through like ice in like the sunlight. It's very pretty. Uh, and Solly kind of walks over to like just some benches that are kind of like off to the side. No one can really hear you guys. And as she sits down, you see Quarian shift out of the shadow and stand up. And he kind of looks at her and goes, most of them knew I was there. And Solly goes, I know. I know they do. It's fine. Burke knows. And he kind of nods. He kind of looks at you guys and goes, long time no speak. Right. Hey. hey. Self. I'm now a uh, bodyguard with full ability to go into the uh, upper districts now, so that's cool. Hey, things are looking up for you. Speaking of yep. bodyguard, how were you able to get away from the red bag? Red bag? Azra Sahar. Yeah, Azra, she knows that was about Sully. Is that yeah. what you're calling her? <laughs> yes, because fuck that bitch. <laughs> she, you watch as Corian kind of like breaks his, like, he has this kind of like this really cool badass posture. His posture just breaks and he just starts rubbing his eyes. He goes, yeah, she's, um, she's, and Sally kind of pumps and goes, she's good at training me. At the very least. She's of course she is. She, she's training. a red dragon folk, but she's a red, she's a red scale kobold. Of course she did. I have her currently doing some work in, um, some of the other districts. Just, you know, gathering well, information and also, you know, getting more situated in the city. Because uh, she's obviously from somewhere else. Eh, uh, to be fair, that was me as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes time. Um, I think I do have a mission for you, though. Let's hear it. If you're willing. Um, you know how I was having visions? Right. About, like, a tavern somewhere? Right. In one of the visions, blurry, I, I saw a sign. Like, like what you guys have above your taverns. Oh, like a literal sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a literal one. Um... It was called the Dragon's Horde. Okay. It was a bar. And Quarian believes, based off of information he's been gathering, that it's in Eastern Tracadia. Wait, Eastern Tracadia? Yeah. One of the coastal cities there. I'm go I Googled it, I can't find it. Out of character, it's just north. I, I just know north or south Tracadia. You're from north. You're from north Tracadia. You would have probably known about the east. There's a big traders like um, town there. You don't know the name of it though. Well, Tracadia. we can at least go investigate. Hmm. Are you saying Anything in particular? You'd want us to leave Alavast? Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's gonna be a big jump. <clears throat> What's well, that? um, I've been talking with the the dragon, the silver dragonborn man, who you guys helped out with, um, you know, because I saw it and I thought maybe I could go, but obviously that's not a really good idea right now. With oh well, yeah, you're on. a member of the council now. So. Yeah, so I thought you know maybe I could send you guys, and when I was requisitioning it, I didn't realize it would lead to me you guys being hired to me. I don't even know what's happening, but hey, are you okay with? Going teleporting there? Whoa, whoa, no, 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 we, we, teleporting? Whoa, whoa, that changes it because I, I don't, I feel like after the last trip, getting on another boat again, ah, it's gonna be a. <laughs> yeah, well, I so, feel so, like teleporting is a way safer the way. Yeah, Merix, Merix has a teleportation circle set up now. It's kind of in the testing stages, and I, I, I mean, like you're not gonna die, but. Um, That's good. It could be 
our first <laughs> selves will die, and then our second selves will be reborn without no knowledge of the first one dying. Oh man. Jesus. Jeez. That happens it every Tash, that happens every time you go to sleep. That. There's a percentile chance that you could be a little bit off the mark, but it's not enough that you would get stranded or anything. And I mean, Dracadia is not like Alabas. It's a bit uh, more... Yes. Sully, you know. I already mentioned to you before, I can't speak for these guys, but I told you, no matter what, if you needed me to do something, I'd do it. Okay. I'm looking for a man wearing armor. Okay. Any race I, in particular? I think a human or elf. Maybe half elf. Didn't Any... happen to catch a name, did you? No, the visions are just swimming noise usually. The fact that I was even able to say like see signs or what, his hand, oh. I think I was seeing through his eyes. Could mm. you could you tell his skin color? No, they were wearing gloves. Damn it! What about what about color of armor or any sort of? Silver. I mean. Silver. All right then. I'm... No, 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 Sully, flip side. Who, who was he looking at in the vision? I don't know. He was looking at a glass. Every time I look, he's looking at a glass. But then this last time, he was stumbling outside, and there was all these smeared lights, and then he fell, and then looking up, I saw the sign, and I woke up. Ah, oh, so, so he's a lush. Looking for a drunk. Sully kind of grits her teeth and goes, maybe. It's crazy. It's Look, guys, monk wearing armor, books, books and covers. Okay, so if we're gonna go to Arcadia, what's it like? <laughs> I've only roll, ever been to... Yeah, panic roll history with advantage. Remy, anybody else who's trained in history can roll history as well. Nice. Wait a minute. You have advantage. You're fine. Yeah, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, I was looking at an earlier roll. <laughs> Um, I forgot what the- oh, Tricadia. Blah, 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 my brain. Um, so, Tricadia, it's basically like a Pokeball. There is a giant mountain range in the center cutting across. Um, you know that you guys are all gonna stand out, like, more so there. Oh, um, <laughs> so that's gonna be rough. Borky in particular, you know, is gonna have to just be- very careful because orcs there are pretty evil. I mean, Irma doesn't like orcs for a reason. Um, mm -hmm. You know as well that um, very high law. Um, killing is generally bad, obviously. Like and like anybody. Mm. So like killing someone even out of self self defense is also considered kind of bad. If there's any I way for you to not kill someone, don't kill them. What if someone says see, murder oh, is illegal here? What if someone's mm -hmm. like, oh no, I'm running at you, I'm running in this direction with my sword. If you don't get out of the way, it's your fault. You go to jail. Damn it! Wow, that's crazy. So so that um, that brings up a very big fucking point. I guess we need diplomatic immunity. Okay, real, real, we're not gonna get it. Are you kidding me? No. Are you you can't me? get it from Sully. Yeah, uh, and, and you gotta remember, Alavas is not a country at all. Yeah, it is city just state. a... You're a city-state. Okay, real, city state. above game, real quick here. Uh, I'm just curious about Jacadia, like, thematically, what does it look like? Like... I mean, you haven't been there. I'm just curious. I'm just... I'm sorry. I'm you gotta go there first. You, you have to, you have to out, go right? there. Oh, yeah. okay, we'll learn so much. It's kind of like... Know. I would say comparable, it's kind of like Fantasy America. <gasps> except for... Yeah. Oh, awesome. Except awesome. for the not killing thing. Ah, so Hollywood, Texas, and New York. Got it. Great. Excellent. <laughs> More... Excellent. Please and giant, no. giant fields of corn and wheat in the center. Good. Well, at the bottom, actually. The oh, my God. Part part we are going oh, to the Digimon the movie, ones. guys. Of course the corn is down south. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Skinny is from southern Chicadia. She's got that southern drawl, y'all. Love uh, is a highway. Uh, the other thing you know, panic 100%. Way more sh uh, werewolves, like Creature, were rats. Creatures of the night. There, oh, creatures so like, of the night. Like nighttime, nighttime is bad time. Usually, what a terrible night to have a curse. Yeah, like it is like the you don't really camp out in the open unless you have a real plan in place, sort of deal. So, rules of nature. Okay, uh, above game. I got twenty five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys, if you accept this job, you will be leaving Alavas for the first time in this campaign and going to a different country in this world. I mean, Greckles is in. 
Eastern Tricadia. Eastern Tricadia. Is it is it like a Pokeball that is like standard Pokeball, or is it a Pokeball that's divided into four? So there's is an it east and west. So if you out. scroll down, I will make a very, very bad drawing of what it looks like. Okay. Oh, yeah. I am very interested in a bad this drawing. Will be, this will be so... our arc image. <laughs> this is Tricadia. This is Tricadia. <laughs> This Tricadia. is Tricadia. This is Tricadia. This is a chicken wing. There you go. So that's the main shape of it. Okay. okay. So it looks like Texas, Tejas. And then your mountain range is like, I'll just kind of just go in here and make it all crazy. This is great. Oh, this oh no, is... I take it back. It's the Millennium Falcon. <gasps> no, guys. Oh, fuck, guys, it is. Guys, it, there you it's... Go. That's okay. the mountain range. Okay, mountain range. Okay. Got it. So there's obviously the city that's you would be going to would be around. That's the flux capacitor. Got it. That would be around there. Okay. That's what's okay, so dark. we're going to the eastern part of South Tricadia. Skinny is from here, okay. like literally the lowest of the low, and Panic it would be from around here. You're one of the base of one of the mountain ranges so, so on that side. We're going on the far right side of this, then. You are going on the far left side. Yeah, we're going cool. here. Okay. Oh, that's west. Yeah. Yeah. And then west coast. Yeah, left side. Tricadia capital is right, like just cradled. And and over here is where mountain. you can see Panic's house. <laughs> uh, Do we actually? Interesting thing of note, I'll do this because it's fun. Uh, Doros came from right here. Oh, oh so much! Hey. That's where the grayscales are. So. so, question above game. We know how we're getting there. Do we know how we're getting back? Same way you're going. Teleport is good. Yay! Oh, oh, my gosh, okay. God. We can teleport yeah. now. No, God, that would be a nightmare. Teleport, come around right up. Yep. Uh, Sentry down! Army. Hopefully it doesn't break or anything, Army guys. Healing. I was gonna say, both Connor and Zito get it's like inspiration just for that, but I don't do inspiration. And Kurt, you get negative everything. I do inspiration. Oh, I'm a bard. Hell yeah. Um, I don't use that. All right. I don't use so, that. Fuck it. Solly basically tells you whenever you guys want to go. She's not in a hurry. Um, sooner rather than later, obviously. Um, and you guys do have your note. Uh, your scroll that you got from the uh, the uh, thing. By the uh, way, worth noting, when you guys are leaving, mm -hmm. it, there's signs that says, like, you know, be quiet in the hallways. When you guys are passing by the council, like, the big giant room you guys are in, there is shouting going on in there. Like, mm -hmm. there is arguments, abundance arguments. The moment, like, all the guilds are gone, and it's just... The, these people obviously have worked together before. There's obviously... It's not like there's, like, violent shouting, but it's just, like, ooh, like... You don't really hear anything. Shit's going down. Mom Shit's and dad going are, down. Mom and dad yeah. are arguing. Kind of, but it's like, you know, it's like about something that makes sense, and it, it makes sense to be angry and also have a lot of emotions about too. It's it's like the it's like the uh, the planning scene in uh, Hot Fuzz. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. This is in character. Should we talk about this job? I feel like I feel like we all want to take it. Oh, I mean, yeah. above game, I think we're all in agreement. Yes. Yeah. Remy. Uh, yes? I'd actually like to ask you for a favor, if you could. Uh, anything, milady. I need you to scout something for me. Scout something for you? On your griffin, if you can. Um. I've sent a letter to your boss lady. I don't know what she is to you. Um, to see if she could send your griffin back. So Avery, you, you mean? For me. Yeah, Avery. Uh, I, I'm suspended. I'm not allowed to ride. Didn't you hear them in there, Remy? Uh, under new management, bro. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah for real. You're the captain of the Alavasti Griffin they, Squad they, now. They, they, Look, they, they, I am the captain of nothing right now. That was an idea that he pitched. I, I, I could talk to, to Bork and just see. I mean, you're not going into the Fire Giant territory, so that should be okay. I um she kind of like pulls Remy aside and wants to whisper in your ear. Okay. She's going to attempt Wilson. to stealth with her plus 0. <laughs> Ooh, not the greatest. Um one person amongst the rest of you guys besides Remy can can listen in, but she leans into your ear Remy and she goes, "There's a temple I'd like you to look at." Uh, higher. I have the highest next there. Uh uh Excuse me, perception out of everyone. Do you mind if I take it? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I'm asking them. Do they mind? Go you ahead. got a five? Yeah. Okay, yeah, go for it. 23. Do you, you hear her? She says to you, I mean, she goes, there's a temple I'd like you to look at. Just to see if there's anything around it. Uh, of course. Is 
I just... So, it's to the west of here in the Nocturnal Timberlands. Nocturnal Last time I was there, there was lots of spiders and other nasty things. So... Oh! Just, I mean, spider quest! How much so activity spider there is. Quest. <laughs> oh, I remember that place. As yeah, long memories. As I don't get further reprimanded, I'm happy to take a look for you. I'll make sure of it. Honestly, I know what that's like, so, you know, she kind of gives you a nod, and you get the sense that she's not going to pull the wool over your eyes. Sully would mm. probably know better than to do that at this point. We uh, could pitch okay. it next time we talk to Bork. I need you to stay with me, though. Um, if the rest of you are okay with going without Remy on this mission, honestly, that might be for the best. The less people on the teleport, the better. Hey, well, I mean, Remy sounds like he's got a lot on his plate already. So, I mean, he's going up in the world. He's getting his griffin back. Uh, to be fair, I'm not in the best mindset either, so it's probably better if you go without me. Yeah. Maybe some time after you're done. And kind of, Sully just kind of gives you this very nice pat on the shoulder. You're more than welcome to uh, stay at the Sweet Dragon if you'd like, though. For real. I think if it's all the same to you, I'll stay with my family while you're gone. Oh, that's probably the best. <laughs> this is so crazy. This I is crazy. We're going to another so land. Remy's now in charge. Remy went from having no birds to having a control of all birds. I, I, Borky, I appreciate it, but there's a lot to discuss. And I'm wearing a like shirt with a like... collar, dude. There's so much going on. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like they're just thinking about options, Remy. Like, not to dash your hopes and dreams, but. You know, the veteran clergy can get a little bit excited with new ideas. To be honest, they would have to make a lot of concessions if they want my help. Fair enough. Um, that being said, I am excited to see Volo again. I didn't think it would happen. Grickles pats you on the shoulder. I told you something was going to happen. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they pull the Griffin Riders out from the front, now with all the Peritons making absolute havoc for them. They can't fly. It's just suicide to stay up there. It is. If there were more of them, maybe, but there's just not enough. They can easily be picked off. Well, Avery mentioned something about trying to get more Griffins, so I guess that plays right into what they want to do. Yeah. I've heard that the Monster Emporium have been looking into sites of Griffins. Apparently there's some creatures that are native here. Very strange creatures, but potential. We could use all the help we can get. We can't really pick and choose. And Sully kind of sends him. He goes, um, I should go see Hammer now. I'm supposed to meet with him. Um, of course. If you guys need anything, um, let me know, okay? Uh, how about, how many days do you think you would need to get ready to go? I mean, you're just going to another city, but I guess if you're off the mark, you might oh, want to prepare. Real, real fast, you're starting worst. to crackle a bit, Nadine. Am I? It's because I'm quiet. And, like, the thing doesn't yeah. work. Okay. Um, wow. I mean, um, well, we don't, we, I think we want to put in our order with the AC. And with all the money we're getting, maybe go shopping? Or should we do shopping in Tricadia? Ooh. We may not be welcome in some shops in Tricadia. Yeah, so that's true. Actually, my I, biggest is, I need well, to get something made, actually, because... Borky doesn't know they don't like orcs, right? He hasn't been told that yet. Wait, you didn't tell me that. Sorry. Sully said it out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what if I actually had an idea for that? It could be a little bit incognito. What if I get something to put over my face? A helmet or like a mask or something. You would also have to cover all of your skin and somehow pretend to be another race. You'd have to wear a shirt, Borky. <sighs> that is a sacrifice yeah. I am willing to make for this team. You get that this, you, Borky, you look up at the side and you see the suplex god frowning at you. <laughs> <laughs> I would say then, would it be best that we would have in game, like, obviously, obviously, this would be downtime. Yeah, this would be so, downtime. Yeah. How about um, a so... week? Because most shit gets done in a week. Okay. Oh, well, I'm asking the guys, do you, how do you feel on that? I think a couple, I... a couple days, uh, a week. At it's... least, yeah. Yeah. At least a couple days. A week sounds fine, but a couple days definitely. Okay. Yeah. Take downtime. Good to know. All right. Tolly kind of gets up and she kind of gives a nice polite bow. She seems to be doing better. Like, still not perfect, all things considered. And obviously the weight of everything is kind of showing up, but she seems to have accepted a lot of what's going on. Seems a lot of people kind of had, and your evidence just kind of confirmed it all. Seriously, if you guys had not gotten most of what was in there 
this lot tribunal. Harder fight. Oh, this tribunal would have been against you in many ways. Oh, if we had, if we had, oh, yeah. if, 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 it's a good thing I literally reached into the fire in some of those occasions. God. You literally, you literally, that detect magic probably saved your bacon. If you guys yep. had just opened that chest, that could have even killed someone. Hmm. I cannot believe how lucky we are. Like, seriously. I the... can't believe Panic is alive. Yeah. <laughs> we need Despite that. all my efforts. God bless the fine <laughs> mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys are standing in the high district. You can be there basically for the the time of the tribunal, which you know is like until nightfall. Uh, and there... in your hand, you have a scroll. Do Sorry, we? What was that Remy? Oh, I was gonna ask. Uh, do we? Who was in the council? Is it basically all the members of like the different clergies? And... It is just the people who are representing the clergies and like. Got it. Yeah. So Anyone none of who them has... are available. No, they are all busy. Okay. Except for Hammernar, but now Hammernar's going to be busy with Solly, so right. obviously they're going to meet up and talk. So oh you guys God. are kind of standing there, really out of place. Okay, do what's, we, what's, what's, do we have, what's on the scroll again, by the way? I'm sorry, I completely forgot what's on that. It's, it's closed. You haven't opened it yet. We were told not to open it until we got home. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we have access to the money that we've earned? Uh, I will say yes immediately. That will be given to you guys. Oh, boy. Okay. So do we want to add 2,000 gold each to our inventory? Uh-huh. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. This is, this is my, fav my favorite And then the Alavastian credits you guys now have 5,965. Oh, boy. No. We pro oh, shit. I have to roll for the swords, though, too, because each sword is worth Alavastian credits. Also. There you go. Hey. Yay. Also, while you do that, do we want to take a quick break so people can pee? Yeah, let's take okay. a break yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. You got, a, uh, you got, I an, additional, thank you got before, an additional 300. Before I go ahead, Jet here, Dark Lord Popo with 7,700 bits. Safe travels, Remy. Watch out for eyes and temples. Oh, no, <laughs> that's Dark He's warning you about himself, actually. Dark Lord Popo, thank you for the 7,000. Oh, oh, fair 700 enough. 700 bits, enough. dude. Thank you so much. I'm an ex Nickham with 2,000 bits. All right, the party goes. Gets to go to Bloodborne, the country. I'm sure they will have a great time. 2,000 bits. Yeah. Panic, I'm going to drink the blood. Yeah, I, I, I know you're going to say it's a bad idea, but... Oh. I need to eat something. My stomach's actually Probably. crappling. Well, what was the number of AC extra we got? So, you got an additional 300. So, in total, you guys have 6,265 AC. Okay, thank you. Yeah, each the swords got you. I rolled for them. They got you 300, so... All right. Basically, any of the ones that had any relation directly to people in, like, basically people who would be of high enough stature to appreciate you returning them, you would get money. Like, you'd get AC from. So, yeah. I just rolled a percentage of that. Rad. All right. Bathroom break. All right. Do it. I will keep the Love chat. Love you, chat. Moving. I will be right back. Um, to, to answer the question from before, because I promised I would do it during the break, uh, I think Gronk going to the WWE works for his personality. I think he's going to be a terrible wrestler. I don't know what the heck they're going to do with him. And quite frankly, I hope it doesn't last very long. Unless he surprises me. But I don't have high hopes. But yeah, hi guys, I'm here. Whatever you want to talk about. We're just going to, we're going to chill for a little bit because I am by myself. All by myself. Dynamite 36 with the 400 bits. I like to imagine Panic is using Mage Hand to flip off the Dragon Lady during trial. And only he can see it. Misfit Foe, I noticed you, Senpai. There you go. What up, Citric? What up, all y'all? Uh, Protoss 103 with the 245 bits. Don't forget about the smugglers before leaving. You're never alone when you have the chant to haunt you. Arkoff, I ne I'm never alone when I have you to bounce stupid game mechanics off of in relation to video games. Also, Blackfoot, thank you for the Griffin Rider uh, stick. I appreciate that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. scrolling down. Ice Booth with the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. I have honored the D and D wrestling god with my goblin paladin. Full Nelson, a seven foot half orc, and then threw her at a bandit to break up a bar fight. Hell yeah! You rock. Sorry guys, I'm just scrolling. Uh. WrestleMania predictions, man, I just feel bad that, okay, so for everybody who's not a wrestling fan, I will make this quick. I think uh, as much as I want Becky Lynch to win the women's match, I think Charlotte winning says that they're going in a different direction. I think what they want is for Charlotte to win the main event, win both belts, 
and to win the main event at WrestleMania before Ric Flair passes away because he's 70 years old. So I think they're going to put the belts on her so that Rick can see her before he passes, like, be in the main event and win. And if they go that route, I get it. I don't think that's the smart booking decision, but I can understand if they do that. Um, I will be stunned if Seth Rollins doesn't beat Brock Lesnar, but they haven't booked him like he's going to beat Brock Lesnar. So that's a thing. The tag titles don't seem to matter, so that's great. Thanks for that. Uh, Andre the Giant Battle Royal doesn't really matter. The IC belt. Finn Balor, they already spoiled that he's going to be the demon. So great, good job, guys. Here's the thing. We're going to get demon entrance at WrestleMania, which we always wanted. Yeah, great. Thank you for spoiling that because they could have just waited a week. Um, AJ Styles versus Randy Orton will probably be good. I'm hyped for the Kofi match. Orton gives a fuck about this match. He does because it's indies versus WWE. It's a nice little thing that they got going on. I wish they would have built it more. They promos and it's one of the best feuds right now. Yeah, I wish they would have built it more. Like, that's that's my yeah, little point. Yeah, sorry. Uh, While Brian I was Kofi, you were getting suspended for failing drug tests. So I'm like, it was whoop, great. Whoop. Uh, back card 20 with the 300 bits. I was tense throughout the entire thing. So tense. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty, um, was that's cool. my WrestleMania predictions, though. Yeah. Uh, two more thing, the 100 bits. Shut up, Rob, the 100 bits. The Murder Cave. Oscar, the Murder Cave finds your game theories interesting. We're happy to exchange ideas. Hello, I am back with course. Corn Dog. Renfield 88 with the 500 bits. Thank you so much. Fighting the law and winning. Yay, Trevor, take care of the 100 bits. Thank you so much. I have a friend of mine who is in WWE. He's one of the authors of Pain. We wrestle in the college. Also, my wrestling name is Maximilian Thunder Thighs. Nice. Thunder <coughs> Thighs. Thick oh, Thigh. You should be like Thick Thighs. They save lives. Should be on a t shirt. Uh, that's really cool, Travis and Carrie. Nick's actually friends with Arya Davari. Oh, really? So they went to school together. Dude, Davari, yeah. when they let Davari wrestle, he's really good. Yeah. Uh, DZA 9000 with 1500 bits. I'm so glad I'm glad I get to watch you guys live for the first time in a while. Always a blast watching you guys. L- love, yeah. Love, yeah. And Borky, why do, don't you do your morning greetings anymore? Well, we usually skip morning. It's true. We usually That's skip very morning. true. Oh, oh, I forgot a match. Sorry. Batista versus Triple H. There's no way Triple H is losing that match because his career is on the line. Hey, hey, hey. And I don't think got, he's ready to retire. To give me what I want promo. Everything's worth it. Yeah, it's That's true. Not what also, I want. the promo. Also, when he just walked out and said, "You can kiss my ass," like, and didn't even cut a promo, is great. I miss you, Dave. Hometown. Come back, Dave. All right, real fast. Let's get through these. I got a lot of bits here. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Bits again. The Tom's thank you so much for the 250 bits. But the can't handle the truth. Mmm, shadowy. Not bad. Shadowy things with a thousand bits. I said it earlier, but this has helped a lot. We had to put my dog Waldo down on Monday. I am so sorry. Uh, Go on a happier note. I am happy. My bet that Remy would not fuck this up, even though he was the popular vote. One thousand bits from Shadowy Six. Thank you so much. Very sorry for your loss. Sorry for yeah. your loss. Thank you for your confidence. I think. And uh, yeah. Um, Master Monster Eleven with two hundred ninety-seven bits. I wish I could get paid for going to court. <laughs> Probate with a thousand bits. <laughs> Things to do before leaving leaving for Chicago. Talk to lies. Talk to Helena. Contemplate smuggling smuggler situation. Hmm. So so question really quick, because I was gone for weeks on end. Uh, Bosco, are you done with us? I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Okay. Oh God, there's so much drama. But probate. Thank you for a thousand. I'm bits, not gonna dude, tell you guys. You are that. not wrong. Dark one with hundred bits. Ric Flair is like Keith the Keith Richards of wrestling. You have no idea how the hell he's still alive. But for some reason, he fucking is. Uh, HTBRK with the 500 bits. Bits and now Taka has to say penis. 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 Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Alien Let's talk about this. 365 with a thousand Whoa, bits. Shout oh out to God, the Keith Lee. We love that guy. That guy's the best. Ah, get off their dick, you fuck. Ah. <laughs> fuck. I'll show you decorum. Poop us. I'm going to give it a hundred bits. Uh... Uh, crazy person 23 with an eight month resub. Thank you so much. Toku Nerd, thank you for the bits. And Viral Tech with a thousand bits. Dragon Lady exists the party. Excalibur cringe face. Where do oh, I yeah. Man, <laughs> I'm, man, man, I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, in comes her, Banana Cat. <laughs> thousand bits from Viral Tech. You are not wrong. I Excalibur face every time I see her, I'm like, I don't care about her. But a Vaughn with 100 bits, the next arc will only hurt because the drunk character who hated being in a party. Still can't wait for more for you guys. Thank you so much. Scythe the Drago. Scythe Drago. Oh my god. Scythe Drago. A thousand bits. Since Florida Moore didn't see my tweet, I'm going to say it. Hey, Florida Moore, remind us again how four measly weak humans were able to run away from you. It's always my favorite story to hear how you failed. I'm pretty sure none of us was Oh, human. do you want to know what the better story is? You talk so much about the ones that got away. Think about how many I caught. But it wasn't us. Oh, no, the whole forest is bones, guys. Borky, Borky, can you please put a tarp over that cactus? (laughs) 
it's the cactus. I no, will no, get no, no, you. it's the cactus. No, it's the cactus from Outlaw Star. Oh, fuck. So, I will. Is everybody back? Just to check uh, and see if no, everyone's back. Uh, no. Gabe, is that Devon? Thank you Connor, so much. are you back? Uh, thank you for the 325 bits and derpy doogie. And Diamond Pixel with 1,050 bits. Oh my god, thank you so much, dude. My work is so boring. Woo! You guys make the hours go by so quick when listening to you being here since the beginning. I love you guys. Diamond Pixel, thank you for that 1,050 bits. Yeah. I hope work's going okay tonight. Ooh. I keep it bulky, baby. I know I am fluctuating. I'm roboting a bit. It's because my connection is being all dicey. So hopefully. I'll oh, so it's, your, it's Discord. Thank goodness. Yeah, it's Discord. Yeah. Um, Connor. Thanks for being patient with me talking to myself for a couple hours there. No, that, fine, what? Dude. Uh, oh my God. I, because you guys had so much evidence, there wasn't much of an argu argument from the opposition. Like, I'm really, there's, there's no argument. They collected all the evidence. They said everything they needed to say. People will ask questions about the convenience of things and, like, who employed you, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. so you, guys, you guys as individuals are in the clear. You've done, in their eyes, nothing wrong. Oh, yeah. So good for you guys, because if you didn't have evidence, that would have been really fucking bad. Um, Connor's back, right? Uh, yes. I can do a couple yeah, bit shadows real fast. Sure. Uh, yes, very quickly, and then we have to get right back. Just here, thank you for the hundred bits. Uh, Archivist, thank you for the two hundred bits. Blitz King with the five hundred bits. Great session so far, Monty. Prep, prepping to run Starfinder as I listen. Thank you so much, Blitz King. Oh one. Uh, Warnari with the five hundred bits. Monty, love your character. Speaking of which, what happened to the Oriara construct? Raw? Which one? The one that that was made by uh, Zen. Remember, there's oh. an Oriara Zen, or, or I think it Oriara ran away. Joint. I don't know what happened. To it, it ran away. Mm. It Great. believes it's Oriara. Probate okay, with a thousand. That's bits. code for Monty doesn't want to deal with this shit. Last oh, question yeah. from Probonagayari, thousand bits. For Florida Mort. So, dude, you always want to spread across the world, or is this like a relatively recent development? I will not answer that question. It's got spoilers. <laughs> if I, oh! know, I am not participating in this conversation. Oh, no, I just want to imagine. That was, that was the hardest thing was during, um, you know, having to type out all the things. I had to keep telling Florida more that I can't say that. That's spoilers. Uh, hey, Monty. So now yeah. I, have to, I have to ask a real question. Uh -oh. What is it? When we all have to, when one of us has to go away and we all have to do like, there's a one shot that has to be done. When is the Zen is okay one off? <laughs> When is, he going, when is he going to be the main central focus of the treasure find? When? He's, curr he's currently at doorstop in front of your tavern. I don't think he's going to have an adventure. Listen, listen, listen. You say I, that now. You I say wish, that now. I wish I could close my ears like my eyes and not listen to this, but yes. Guys, we know it's too bad. My voice will be heard. Do we Do we want to get going? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm going to... Before, I just getting kind of hungry, but now I'm focusing. So, you guys have two choices here. You guys yes. obviously can take downtime. The other option is a side quest. Uh -huh. mm. In relation a to the smugglers. In relation to the smugglers. Mm. So, you guys could choose to take the downtime and go on Sally's quest. You could also take on a side quest to see if you can find your guys' stuff. Ooh. Uh, I wait, must they, get back, they, Ripples! Wait, so... So are they saying that they can look at their stuff or do Solly's thing or while they're waiting for Solly's thing? They can do Solly's things whenever. There's no time constraint on that. Got it. So they can look for stuff or take downtime. They could, yeah, they could, oh, like, you could, I mean, you have connections with, with the, you know, police, police, quote, unquote, the guards. Um, and still... potentially could, I could roll for leads and see if you guys find something. Real quick, mm -hmm. will we still have time to go see, will uh, Panic still have time to go see Lies? I mean, that's... You haven't opened that thing yet, so you don't know. Uh, okay. So we're going to uh... <laughs> <laughs> But um, that is an option for you guys. So you don't have to go on Sully's quest immediately. There's no would... rush. Even Sully says it's no rush. So... Would, we ha would we have enough time to at least, like, like restock um, things like rations and potions yeah. and oh, yeah, ammo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Absolutely, oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's the only real big thing I really need to do so yeah i just want to get my shit together before we head out anyway yeah that would that would be off stream like just like i want this many arrows okay here you go okay like, that's a good yeah. thing okay. yeah. all right so he needs to go to nines he's got to make a custom order got it fair enough um, uh so here's the question do you guys want to do leads or do you want to just take downtime and train stuff i mean as long as we can go shopping i wouldn't mind taking the lead yeah let's do the lead i just we just need like we finally have money we need food you know <laughs> And water. Rations. Yeah, you guys are gonna need traveling rations and things. 
But luckily you have access to the second crafting district, so you could probably find something, you know, decent Good. quality. Good. Does than. everybody have to do leads or everybody has to take down? Is it basically a one or the other it thing? It is like basically, I roll and I see if you guys get a lead from uh -oh. either the guard or from the, like, Hasrad or any individual. Okay. Here's Hasrad's the question. Is there, is there any downside to not looking at the <laughs> lead? Like, is there a benefit to doing the rest Time. instead? Time. So... <laughs> I will say this, while you can do Solly's quest at any point, the amount of days it takes you to get there can affect certain things. Okay, that's As totally fair. Moving the world forward. is constantly moving. Yeah, right. so nothing is going to, some things are just going to move on on their own. So that is that is one of the things. All right, so what do you think, Connor? What what would your two cents be? This can be this can be interwoven in, into the downtime as well. So if you guys want to do the downtime, I can roll for the number of days, which is going to be a week. And if I land on the percentile where you get a lead, I can give that to you, and then you can choose whether to pursue the lead or do the other option. I, I would personally at least like to at least have a week off for us in game, and then if okay. we find something, we find something. That's my take. Okay. <clears throat> or you can just say nothing to everything and just fuck off into the woods and become bush people. I mean, I know. <laughs> I'm wow. not. I'm not sure. Yikes. So Connor, what do you think? Uh. I agree with Zito. I think we should we should take the week and look for leads. And if we don't find anything, so be it. If we do, we could either Hell give yeah. those leads I'm... to the local guards and get our stuff back when we come back, or pursue them ourselves. There is another option. I oh, hate giving right. you guys so many options. You can hire a mercenary company to do it for Ooh, you. We can... Oh, oh that... yeah, but all on cost. That you guys have guild access, so what that would be would be me running a one-off. Oh, oh boy! Uh, I yeah. tap my fingers together menacingly. Okay, hang on. You can't so, say that because now those, we just now those, you can't those, say that. Those won't be streamed. I mean, they'll be archived. Like, but it'll basically be like whoever goes through it. If they succeed, they succeed, and if they don't, they don't. Seriously. Or you guys can do it yourself. Oh man, that's so. See, that first one sounds really fun for just. I really, narrative. I kind of want to give oh, people yeah. a chance to play. Yeah, let's let's hire a mercenary. Yeah, company let's do the mercenary yeah, company. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, I will. I will search for a mercenary company. Oh, um, I don't know if I should say this out loud. Okay. <laughs> the type uh, of it's, it's 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 not it's not relevant to anything. I was just, I was just wondering what's uh what what mercenary so, company was. To, to assure you guys, this is not going to influence the game too much. But basically, the outcome of what the one-off does is kind of like, instead of rolling dice to see whether things go well or not, it is the outcome of their mission that determines whether the, it succeeds or fails. Oh, it's so great. So are you actually going to run this? I'm going to run this, and however that goes determines how well things end up. This is are you going to use actual, you gonna use actual faith, players, or is it um, just going to be dice? I'm going to do actual, I, I wanted to, I wanted to ask, actual, I to ask Monty, actual players, yes. Um, what mercenary company was DeSoto a part of again? The Briar Hearts, yeah. Ah, oh my God! Is it, are you gonna do it with people online? Or are you gonna do it like Adventures League? Uh, it, I mean, it's gonna be whenever I have time to do it. So Hell yeah! If, if, oh if my you God. guys even if you guys even get a lead, so that's the thing. All right, let's go. I'm excited. Right. Oh, this is so cool. These this these is a are really in, neat idea. I love it. These are infrequent, but this is gives because your guys' guild has grown big enough. This is something I'm gonna give you guys access hey, to do because hey, I want to experiment with money. it. Yeah. Would, it be, would it be too much of me to say that if you, we did open this up and I had the free time, would it be cool if I was a part of that? Oh my god, don't main, I don't... main cast members cannot be or guest cast Damn cannot it. be, unfortunately. Okay. Like I said, yeah, these will be just private affair. I, I'll try and find people that I think will work and we'll see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> tell honestly, them, tell honestly, them they're... I might even run it with some real life friends. Like that's that's literally that's what, what I'm what talking about like, here. Get to Adventures League and just get some people and be like, all right, we have a random mission today. Oh, yeah, literally them. run the mission however it goes. That is your that is basically your random generation. And then you thing. can tell them later, like, oh, by the way, this was for my show. Yeah, I the biggest thing is I need people to agree that that's okay. That that has rep you know, like that's going to obviously make a little bit yes. of like a butterfly effect, but. I think it's kind of. A, I hate just you, rolling for random shit. I think you this is guys. Fun. That's what I did with Shadow War. You did shit that fucking affected and, me. I love that and stuff. And if you guys decide to fucking not do anything that I have prepared, at least I could use it. <laughs> so. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, listen. You have to sign this waiver to prove that you're okay with being a fucking scapegoat. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you will say, be ripped tell, apart in front of two thousand people. Tell yeah. them. Def definitely tell them that there are real life consequences to them fucking up. Yeah. 
So All right, I don't so want to put pressure gonna look on over. people. We're but... going to go looking for leads, and then we're going to hire mercenaries to get our stuff yes. back is what we're yes. going okay. forward with. Uh, we're going to go shopping. We're going to order. In the meantime, the you you do have the rest of the afternoon. You guys are still in the, in the All district. right, so suggestion. I would say let's go back to the Sweet Dragon. You can look at that note, and then I have something I want to do with Remy before he's gone. Uh, All right. Forky would like, is it okay if we split up a little bit? Real, real quick, Forky would yep. like to go to nines. All right. Okay, so uh, Borky's going to nines. Who has the who has the parchment? Panic I, does. I he's, okay. he's, the one, he's the one who made the request, so it is technically of his ownership. So you can look at it when you get back home if you go straight home. Yes. Is, Borky, is, I, mm -hmm. is there Too anything much. that is there anything that we can get in the upper district that is worth looking into right now, just above game and save time? Uh the highest district? No. It is all like political buildings and like okay. giant yep. temples. Ah, you are not allowed you're not allowed in the districts you're not allowed in. You were just allowed there for Does the Does anybody district. live in the high district or is it strictly business? It is strictly just like the high district itself, the ring of the high district does contain homes. The okay. the council district as it is known, the highest district, um is is no homes there it's just like people live there like the uh avon temple obviously all the, the like all the guards there live there um but there's no like houses or, got it like, so do we have or... access to like the high district houses but not like the court area where all the stuff happens or is it uh, like the whole high district is considered off limits it's kind of like you can go into the buildings and look around but if you start poking in the backs of buildings people are going to probably ask you to leave because that's it. like where no one like poking around an plots. office it's but the count like... got it it's kind of like going to like um like going to like a store like a regular store and then going behind the counter sort of got it like, okay yeah I... <clears throat> okay hmm. yeah what's up i wanted to say that i wanted to go back inside and like maybe not like wallflower but at least like mingle a little bit with all the folks that just came out of the tribunal they are still there yeah you can do I, that i want to do that's what i want tass to do i want him to get more info, schmooze some more people, talk to other people who we don't have access to talk to after this. Okay. I will say at this point, a majority of them have left. Um, there's probably still a few people taking advantage of the free food. All right, so we have Task wanting to go back and, and, and interview. Correct, is, Borky is, is going to nines. Mm -hmm. Is Ika still there? Uh, Borky, uh, you don't know. Mm. I don't know where he goes to nines. Rami wanted to do a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the panic. What would you like to? Well, I think that's pretty obvious. He wants to go back and read the note. Yeah, you have the note. Yeah. Um, Greco's would like to go back and see if Ika Imiko is there. If she is not, he'll head back with panic. So let's start with Task and Greckles because you guys are going the same direction. You guys all split off from each other, going your your various different directions. I'm um, assuming Remy, are you sticking along with them, or are you just kind of going about your own business? Remy's thing is at the Sweet Dragon, so he's with Panic. Okay, so he's with Panic. Okay. I like I said, I have no like I have no actual end goal. I just wanted to like talk to these people who we're never going to probably see again for a good long time. Yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, Ika is there. She Ooh. is currently just like. Shifty eyes eating a lot of food. <laughs> now, um, and the EG, the Eijin was was a part of a mercenary company. It that would be indicative of a of a mercenary company, yeah. Okay. Uh, Task, you go ahead and do what you want to do first, and then I'll follow up. Well, I just want to like make myself visibly known to anyone who's still around. So if there's any takers who want to like chat us up about anything that happened in this tribunal or whatnot, you want like to at ask least for an autograph? attempt. <laughs> No, uh, not for an autograph, you fuck. Currently, <laughs> currently, you have the human guy, Travis McKinsey, who didn't really seem to be on your guys' side. The Minotaur is still there, uh, chatting it up with Rochelle Curl as well. Um, the dwarf from the Handy Brandies is just... She's taking most of the drinks. Um, and Mr. Chance is still there. And there's actually another individual who you realize now you didn't hear and did not see who was a gnome. Apparently no one noticed him, but he was oh. there. Yeah. Oh, poor lad. Mostly because when I was copying and pasted, I accidentally pasted over top of his name. So, Man. <laughs> even, no even one... over meta, he was outshadowed. <laughs> <Fuck> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor Zanlan. Sprimblebrew. Wait. Spimble. Oh, Spimblebrew. There you go. Mr. Sprimblebrew. Man. <laughs> 
All right. Um. So, was what, what was this? The Minotaur. Like, I want. I want to get in on his story. I want to see what yeah. this boy's. That about. guy's really cool. I wish I could talk to him. <laughs> yeah, he's got like arms crossed, and he's just kind of chatting it up with uh, with Rochella, and he goes, "No, I agree. The boats were pretty good, but uh, a few of the boys got seasick, you know." But it's uh, it's going well. We're getting well established here, helping out the farmers out on the fields, taking a look at that uh, weird, corrupted farmland. Though my people don't do much about that sort of stuff. But Ginter's folly, you mean? As Tass takes food, he turns and looks to you. His head is bigger than you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, 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 prob I probably don't even make this man shin. He actually like looks for you, then looks down because he's a little <laughs> lost. He goes, "Hail there, small one." Hail yourself, Tass turns and looks to him. You mean Ginter's Folly, then? That is the word I've heard of it. A haunted place. You're talking to someone who foolishly made his way through that. Truly foolish, indeed. One of my boys walked in just to take a look, and by the end of it, he was retching and sick. <laughs> Poor fool. You're, luck you're lucky he made it out in the first place. Every time we kept turning back, there were ethereal spirits that tried to gnaw at us. Moving structures as well. That is becoming very concerning to me. That we didn't notice. We only noticed some very warped vegetation and spirits. Hmm. Probably a result of both. Task. You were in the tribunal. You were Indeed. one of those who fought the United Clergy of Orn. On multiple occasions, yes. I hear that they hate kobolds. So. <laughs> Tash just grins maliciously. He gives you a nod. There may that say we were once monsters. We've been given a chance. I am Ichogo Steamsnote, as I'm sure you heard my name, from the Iron Tramplers. We're an all-Minotaur mercenary company making our way into Alavas. How's that going for you? Uh, well, <laughs> he kind of has this face on him, even behind, like, the helmet. Ta Tass kind of just, like, goes, just smiles at him. If you don't mind the joke, I'm sure you've heard it a million times, like a bull in a china shop. Uh, well, more like... What's More that? like a uh, a bowl in, uh, surrounded by dollhouses. Um, a lot of the accommodations here are rather small, and uh, some of the larger ones are a bit, um, might I say, inappropriate. He kind of leans in and goes, "Barns." <laughs> no, Tash yeah. just looks at him. No. <laughs> yeah, barns. <laughs> No, we're getting work done here. We've been traveling around all sorts of corners of the world. We left Tricadia not too long ago. We were fighting a den of werewolves down there. Nasty bastards. Luckily, yeah. we're pretty hardy folk. We're able to resist their, their cursed... Uh, what's the word? Phlegm? Mucus? Venom. Yeah, so to speak. Disease. That's a good one. Disease. And he kind of snaps his big, like, fingers and kind of points you. Yeah, disease. Fair enough. Uh, actually... We, uh, me and my allies might think of actually heading out that way. Do you have any tips on how to uh, fend ourselves or what our situ or what our current situation would be? Should we fight these creatures? I would say get silvered weapons if you don't mm. have any. Uh, Fair enough. Silver, silvered ammunition. Um, and if you have any clerics with you, you can stock up on holy water. Um... Beyond that, most of the other things I hear are just superstitious garlic and the like. Does any of that... Tash just, like, looks left and right. Mm. Speaking from someone who came from a kin who dabbled in such magic, I don't believe that superstitious stuff works, but what do I know? Mm. I, I will say said... this. I will say this. If you run into any undead, burn it once it's finally cold. Mm. Given a few days' time, it will always come back. Very well. I'll keep that in the back of my head. Thank you for this information, by the way. Yeah, of course. Anything. For a fellow mercenary. Especially one that's able to good, do good work and get good pay from it. Indeed. Speaking of mercenary, uh... I wouldn't... Tash just, like, looks, left, uh, looks, looks about and then looks to him. How much do, uh, does your company, uh, pay for a body? A per person? Yeah. Yes. About a hundred gold a person for a job. It depends on the contract, how dangerous it's going to be. I wouldn't say we're ready to hire just yet. We're doing some personal work right now for the Ginter clergy, so they have us pretty contracted for the next while. Mm. 
Very well. I'm in the market to find someone who You're just looking have... for beast of burden, just general bodyguards to, you know, give you a nice tough frame. Yeah, about a hundred gold pieces. If you want my actual warriors, now that's uh that's gonna be a lot more. Hmm. Their time is valuable. Trust me. To... You wouldn't he won't get anything across to an enemy more so than an angry minotaur. I would like that because what I'm looking for is someone who can take their chops when it comes to dragons to the north. That would take quite a few minotaurs. <laughs> but yeah. worthy to know about. Fair enough. I will take that in mind. Thank you for your information. Yes, you uh, need to speak with me. Uh, you speak to the leader of the Ginter clergy. I believe they have a temple out on the outskirts of the city as well. And if you ever find yourself in need of a drink uh, near the lower district, find the Sweet Dragon. I've heard of that place from Zurth. Apparently your ale is strong enough to even get us drunk. That's impressive. Well, we have quite a couple of orcs who partake in drink and kind of hard to see them slosh, but I've seen it before. Fair enough. Anyway, I should be getting back to the fields now. It's almost midday. Very nice talking to you, uh, uh... Task. Task. Task of both iron. Very nice to meet you. And he walks away, and as he walks, like, you literally, you feel your feet lifting off the ground with each step he takes. Man, I hover for, like, two seconds, hell yeah! <laughs> Imagining him walking away, you, you sitting there chewing, looking very smart. <laughs> as you bounce up and down. <laughs> Alright, cool. No, I just wanted to get some lore on the boy. Good, good on him. Greckles, she is currently there. You watch her. She kind of like unfolds like a like a handkerchief. Uh, Ika begins to kind of like put some like macaroons and other like cookies and just kind of ties it up and like puts it next to her. She kind of um, dusts herself off. Greckles will kind of not get really close, but just kind of close enough where she can be in your shot and in Orion say, yeah, "I do agree that the food here is quite good." She kind of turns and she looks and she goes, "Oh yes, I saw you uh, in the." witness stand a kenku the other one next to you i haven't seen one like him for a while your name was uh greckles greckles birdman though that's just well that's a long story she kind of gives you like this like half smile like Meh, birdman <laughs> uh well while, while, while he well while he's doing that he's also doing that nice 90 degree bow she she replies with it um she introduces herself uh, Aika Amiko. I'm the leader of the Asian. We are a um, mercenary company built up of refugees from the Eastern Isles. That's actually something I wanted to speak to you about. I lived there for quite a decent amount of time. I wanted to ask if there was any information about your organization that you could lend to me. Uh, well, we work out of a tavern called the Elven Vine. Sorry, I'm just taking notes. <laughs> We're not really... Well, we have a seat in the council due to some favorable outcomes, but we aren't really like you. We don't have our own building just yet, so we're living there for now. Um, we mostly work in caravan, um, specifically works between here and anywhere that kind of treads near the dragons or is heading westward now. Um, and we've done some work heading down to the south as well. Just general mercenary work, cleanup. We've done a few bounties as well for individuals hiding out in Alabast. Um, we have about five samurai in our company. And uh, two kinsei. And Impressive. One ninja, but I can never really find him, so I don't know if he's still around. <laughs> don't know if he exists anymore. That way, that's the way you know you have a good ninja. Mm. She kind of nods knowingly. No, I, my father was a, was a mercenary, and I kind of followed in his footsteps. Have you heard any news about the Eastern Isles? Do you know uh, about what's happened? No, in fact, that's why I wanted to see you. It's been so long, and even still, I was only in the mountains of Sakuyacho, so I'm unaware of anything that may have happened. Oh, this is quite far away, then. Um, a, uh, tome, a tomb, um, that belonged to a very evil Oni has, well, the seals on it have broken, and the Oni has completely destroyed Hannah Island, which is where I'm from. Greckles just lets, lets out a very, very audible gasp. An entire island? 
it's small. Hannah Island was small. I mean, there's only two villages on it, but still um, considerable. From what, my know, what we know, the Oni is now gone, but Hannah Island is completely gone. It felt painful to be anywhere else in the Eastern Isles, so I decided I wanted to travel the world. And how, uh, that's where I ended up. How long ago was that? Half a year ago, maybe a quarter of a year, like three, no. Half a year, if not longer ago, the sense of time traveling has kind of gone, but probably last summer, mm. midsummer. No, well, I can understand that. From what I can recall and reminisce, my entire family and clan was wiped out. It was, um, sorry, above game. It was not bugbears. It was um, hobgoblins, right? It was hobgoblins, yeah. yeah. It was completely decimated by hobgoblins, and I eventually found myself here. That's really... Huh. She kind of looks at you a little bewildered. It's something the matter, my lady? The Oni was traveling with an army of hobgoblins. Oh, the plot thickens! We have found your darkest! <laughs> Where do you reside? Currently at the Sweet Dragon, the lower district. If I hear any information from my mother, who still lives in the Eastern Isles, I will let you know. That would be greatly appreciated, as, as Greggles gives another humongous bow. She returns it in kind. Also, she kind of like shifty eyes, she hands you a little handkerchief full of cookies. It's good to eat. She kind of begins to walk away. Very nice meeting you. And to you as well. She walks off. Interesting, okay. Yay. All right. Well, I guess I'll go find Task, and when we're done, we'll head back home. Yeah, just hey. go, go. All right. You got what you needed out of the way? Oh, yeah. I was just trying to get info out of her. Oh, no, you this guys, is in-game. I, I, would, I would assume that um, their contact information is public knowledge, correct? Yeah. You can easily find a mercenary company that isn't just privately contracted. The Minotaurs would be harder because they're working for the Ginter clergy right now, but if anyone's just, like, not doing anything, there's availability there. Right. Sick. Okay. So. Um, all right. Next one. I'm gonna say Borky. You are going through the town on your way to Nines. As you reach the front of it, uh, you see the dwarf that works with Nine. Uh, not there, actually. Uh, and you see Nine in the back, currently standing in front of a bunch of charcoal drawings at the moment of some sort of design of some sort. Why, uh, it looks... I, I see, I see, I see the charcoal drawings. When I see it, it looks like anger. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Not inten my intention, but you know what? Let's see where this takes me. It's ten. Ten. She steps back. Um, and you see, it is actually a, the, the anatomy drawing of, like, a construct of a specific design, probably. Oh. Is that how you see us? Oh, now that I'm looking at it more, I can tell it's, uh, one of your robots. When I look from the side, it looks like one of them splotch tests that the shaman in my old village used to show me. I see. Can I help you with something? Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, there's two things I'd like to tell you. Number one, I don't know if you've met him yet. I think you have. His name is Log, right? Yes, I have met Log. He is rather impressive, and his outfit is absolutely, as I would say, exquisite. He is so... It's so great to look at him. He's so shiny in many ways. But Indeed. But Temple to Oriara is being built, actually. You will no doubt... You hear, like, you hear, like, the sounds, like, the grinding gears and, like, clicking. Really? Yes. I actually wanted to ask you for two things, but we're actually purchasing the temple, and it's going to be built here pretty soon. Now, Log, he, you know, I love him. He's a great little construct. I don't know if he has design on his mind. Everyone should have design on their mind. And there's no one who has design on their mind quite like you, Nines. So, I mm. think... And when I get a chance to tell him, I'm going to send him this way because if you could help design the first temple to Oriara, my god, you make beautiful outfits, but can you imagine a building? Are you asking me to make architecture? No, like, the pl just, like, just like point it out and just tell people what to do. 
I do believe that dwarves would be better suited for this job. But, what but if thinking... you would like, there is a construct that does do architecture. That's good. But maybe, hear me out, a special outfit for sermons for him. And I'll pay for it. I just want it to be a Vest... gift for him. You wish for vestments? Yes. That could be easily enough done. Would you like very fancy vestments or reason reasonable vestments? What do you think Long would like? Pine cones. Lots. Of those pine are, you know those are baby trees, right? Yes, I have learned this, and the fact amazes me. Very fancy. Mm. I make it about pine cones. Can do. <laughs> you watch as Nines walks over, and you see this giant stack of what looks like requests. Uh, and they just jot it in. The total for the vestments will come to 20 gold pieces. Oh, okay. Uh, that's good. I have a second request you would like to add on to there as well. I'm going to be leaving yes. in a week. And I'm actually going to be going to the land of Tracadia. Now, from what I'm being told, they're not the biggest fans of orcs. Hmm. Yeah. So what I was thinking... So you wish to disguise yourself as something that you are not? Yes, I mean, from my chest here, and uh, from my forearms, and they're going to see the green on my skin. What well, I was thinking, if you got like a, out of character, like a bodysuit essentially, like kind of something you, you put on up to the neck, and for the head, a helmet or a mask-like <laughs> thing that I can still see out of, and maybe like chain mail in front of the mouth so people can still hear me speak. You ask so much, but I do have a very efficient solution for this problem. However, this solution may be expensive. Uh, Borky, like, literally sits down. What do you we got in mind? Someone traded me in an object of very substantial value to trade for some help for my companion, who also runs the shop. You watch as Nine walks over to a chest and unlocks it. And pulls out a long, like, cape, like, scarf. Like, not scarf, a, like, big cloak. Ooh. This is a magical item. Is it now? Tell uh, me more. Nine will drape it over top of you. <sighs> Think of a form that you wish to look like. Uh. uh. Borky thinks of... Uh. I Sorry, this is throwing me for a loop. Um, just uh, something like something like almost like, imagine, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> Borky thinks up long. Okay, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh. Nine nine smacks your forehead like just ah. with the back of the arm. Something larger. Log is technically a small creature, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, Borky just imagines essentially uh, himself, but with a helmet, like just like a, with almost like a helmet on. Okay. Uh, uh, you look over, you look over to a mirror, you are basically yourself, and you are wearing a helmet. It's not the type of helmet you thought of, but it is a helmet. Uh. There. Forgive me, I'm not the most creative. Wait, I've got it. Borky thinks with all his might. Borky imagines his armor as black as night. Borky imagines a simple helmet with two red eyes and a slight beak. Okay. He imagines uh... a gripple sized version of Borky. So, okay. So, you're in armor. Armor you've seen before. I'll say the most recent armor you've seen is, like, Doros' armor. Yeah. Um, it's, like, darker tinted. Um, and, like, your face is still yours, but the, the helmet has grown a bit larger, so it's darker inside. And as you look, that's what you see. You basically see you in, like, big, big thing of armor in the mirror. And the, are the eyes red? No. Dang. It does not give you red eyes. Hmm. Uh, but you can't see any green of the skin, though? You can still see, because you're thinking about yourself, you can still still see green. 
Think racial difference, man. Mm -hmm. oh, that's weird because you can only ever see Gregory. Like... Think of or think of being a bird. You know. No. <laughs> think of Gregory. <laughs> Look, I just think I just think of that fucking the helmet dude from Dragon Quest. Okay, that's what I see. I instantly thought of Gregory. I'm, I'm just thinking, you know what? I'm thinking hair. of like I'm thinking of guts. From... Okay. Oh, sure. Sure. Oh, okay. Gotcha's berserker. Yeah, that's what said. berserker right, right. armor, essentially. Yeah. So, as you kind of close your eyes and think about the character that looks like that, you open your eyes and you're a human with your skin out. Your skin is like tanned color. Uh, not exactly what you want. You have a beard and you're bald. You didn't want that, but that's fine. That still works. Yeah, um, and nice. you're wearing like a cloak and you have like a great sword strapped to your back. And you look in the mirror and that's what you see. How much? Two thousand gold pieces. He sighs and he looks in the mirror, seeing someone who's not him, but he realizes it's needed for the job. He take puts down all. He just pulls out the money. He, he just got given it in that bag. Puts it on the table, and then that's a sale. All right, that is a cloak of disguise self. Whoa! Oh, that's so good for a barbarian. Okay, that'll do. Oh, and the twenty gold as well. Thank you. Thank you very so much. I'll note that down in the NPC workbook. Oh. Let me grab that. Wham. Wham. To put that down. I wanted to get. I want to get log special vestments. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I want. Uh, so nine is working on vestments. Hmm. Cool. Perfect. So. Just a reminder, you can have a maximum, of, in terms of equipped magical items, you can have three at maximum. So I currently have uh, Ron, the Ron Vault Sword, if I so activate it, and mm -hmm. and I would have this. Those would be my two. Yeah, those would be your two. So far. This is technically a wearable item, so yeah. All right. You head on home. So it's, 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 like, say, it's like a scarf that wraps around my face, essentially. It's like a cloak. It's like a Lord of the Rings cloak that you just throw on yourself, and then if you... Aragorn's hood, dude. Okay, yeah. here we go. No, there's a I thing, imagine I I'm Aragorn. A... For your sake, Curtis. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna send you the spell afterwards. You physically are still yourself. Okay. So if you choose a form that is like smaller than you, your space still occupies outside, and vice versa. So if be... someone runs into you, they will notice. I thought it was just gonna be a. a... A, a, a big log. <laughs> it's technically a small creature, and I don't think you can turn into anything that's like bigger. Oh, it's okay. So, it's okay. But thank you so smaller, much. And that's still it. Works. That's it for me. There you go. You have a cloak of disguise self. Yay! All right. Panic. That's where, me. You and Remy. You guys are. Where are you guys heading? Back to the uh, sweet dragon, I think. You Back guys, to the guys sweet be lying at home. Okay. You get inside. Uh, it's pretty quiet. It's like midday. People are just mostly each eating lunch. It's become kind of like a diner at lunchtime. It's definitely like food is the focus with a few you know, dwarves coming in for some beers. Mm -hmm. Probably grab him and Remy and ale or something. All right. You guys sit down at a table, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Remy takes a sip. <laughs> get yourself yeah. A sip. Big day, huh? It, it has been a day. Yes. I'm happy for you. Yes, I'm happy for me too, actually. And you seem to have gotten what you needed. Well. Yeah, I suppose so. I, I appreciate to... you opening up as a Romantian. I didn't realize you had such a troubled past. I assumed it, but it was interesting to hear. Well, we've all got our stories, Remy. Yes, yes, we do. I just didn't think mine would be would have such grand implications. Well, typically, uh, people are in silence by invoking the name of someone, Borky. <laughs> so yes, I would say your past is quite complicated, but interesting, and unique, like you. Now who's that? Well, I'm trying to be cordial. I'm messing with you. And then I'm going to take my thumbnail and I'm going to open the... Uh... Oh, it's a scroll, right? Yeah, it is a scroll. It's tied right. with, with the ribbon. All right, I'm going to take my thumbnail and pluck off the ribbon and unravel the scroll. Okay, easy enough. Uh, it just falls to the ground. You watch the scroll just <laughs> grabs it and then disappears behind a hole. God damn it. <laughs> don't use that for any forging of documents. 
Don't hear anything back. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> she just performed so many crimes. Okay, you open All it? Alright. Yeah, I read it. Okay. The first word at the top, it's long. You, the first thing that catches you, this thing is really long. The first word at the top is, I will write these out for you. Okay. The first word is pyre. P-Y-R-E. Okay. You keep rolling it. Mm-hmm. Next word you see is obsidian. Okay, I keep rolling. <laughs> Melody is the next word. You keep rolling. Mm hmm. This one has spatterings of ink on it. Pushing back the end. Keeps mm. rolling? Yeah. There's still more. It's very long. And like okay. you're watching. At this point, it's like, you know, like Christmas cards with like Santa's list on it, and they're just like endless. You <laughs> Remy probably sees Panic's face go like, huh. Remy's confused because he doesn't know exactly what this is for. <laughs> it's clear. You don't see any of the letters on this, Remy. Oh, okay. And the last thing you see in repetition, almost rapidly over and over and over again, is if, 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 hmm. over and over and over and over and over again. Hmm. That's Elder Goddish. Hmm. Oh man, I love this song. Higher obsidian melody pushing back the end. If, 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 if. <laughs> <laughs> Out loud? I'll probably mumble it to himself. And as you get to the end, that's it. It just cuts off. Even one of the ifs cuts off at the end. Knowing what you know about lies currently, making this was probably an absolute agonizing process. Considering, you know, he's not really there anymore. Tired of seeing Melody push back the end. <laughs> Man, this is the weirdest hypnospace page I ever saw. What the? Uh, looking at the blank page, uh, Remy's going to finish his ale and put it down. I assume that's meant for you, yes? I think it might be meant for the four of us. I figured. I need to take care of something anyway but um, I hope it's what you were looking for. Kind of. I'll have to... have to think on it. But, uh... Well, yeah. If there's anything I can do for you that doesn't require me figuring out a blank page of paper, then let me know. Wait, this is... Oh, yeah, that makes sense, actually. I've long learned that there are certain things I'm not meant to know, and it's better not to ask. Fair enough. Good day, Panic. Good day, Remy. Don't be a stranger. Uh, Remy's gonna head up towards Willow. Okay. Did you want to go visit her, or you just? Yes, I wanted to speak with her if she if she's around. Yep, yeah, she appears. She usually is working, so. He's gonna knock on the door. Oh, come in. You open up the door. Uh, you see Bright kind of run out of the room immediately and, like, run downstairs. Just looks, not like in any sort of distress, it's just like, oh, I'm gonna like go downstairs. Like a dog is like, I gotta get out! Yeah, yeah, it's more or less. Wings. I'm free! You even hear, like, a thud as he hits the final step. <laughs> he just kind of gets up and keeps running. <clears throat> it's lunchtime. It is lunchtime. Uh, you see Willow with, like, a dropper currently, like, putting some liquid into what looks like a potion bottle, and then she kind of quickly caps it and then swirls it around. It turns into this very crimson, bright red color. She goes, excellent. Kind of adds it to a set. Looks like she's making healing potions at the moment. Mm. I see you're Hi. out of work. Oh, yes. Oh, now my arms are feeling better. It's, you know, I have to make up for lost time. So 
Mm -hmm. That is very true. Um, I hope I'm not interrupting. No, no. He's going to close the door behind him. Um, I have been requisitioned to do some work for Solly. You know Solly, yes? Uh, yeah. You know I, I of think her? I, I know of her. Yeah, Doros has yeah. talked about her before. Yes, so she has... Uh, she is somehow going to get me my griffin back for at least oh, a short time. Okay. Congratulations. Yes. Um, don't be too happy. It doesn't sound like I'm going anywhere pleasant, so... Hmm. Yes. Do you need some health potions? Is that why? Uh, no, actually. I feel like your boys are going to need them more than I am. Okay. Uh, that I mean, being... these, these ones are for the guard. These aren't for them. So. Oh, well, they will then most definitely need them more than I will. Fair enough. Um, I did want to ask you something, though, before I left. You're, leave... Wait, you're coming back, though, right? Yeah, I hesitate to proclaim after any mission that I will be coming back for sure, but that is the idea. She kind of grits her teeth and gives you like a nod, like, right, yeah. occupational hazard. Uh, regardless, that notwithstanding, I wanted to, in case of a worst case scenario, ask you a question. Uh, sure. The last time I was here, you wanted to know what I would do if my king asked me to kill your friends. I mean, I think they're your friends, too, but yes. Yes. Why did you ask me that? She kind of sits down on a chair. My parents weren't good people, as you know. Yes, I know very well. Sometimes doing the right thing means it's so which kind of like takes her head in her hands. It's very hard to explain. It's all right. Take your time. When it came down to my choices in my situation. I had to ask myself, you know, do I stand by my parents? Do I accept what they do? Do I just turn a blind eye? Or if by standing with others, would I make the world better? I don't think your king would ever order you to hurt your friends, but... Allegiances and love are two completely different things. They are, and often they're in conflict with each other. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to make a choice. Indeed. And that choice is hard. And sometimes that choice leads to loss. But... <sighs> for everything I've lost, I think I've gained much more. Honestly, I would be inclined to agree with you. I think you are much better off, and... In your situation, I think it is foolish to look at a situation and say you made the right or the wrong decision. You made a choice, and there were consequences. And I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say, there is no right or wrong answer for that question I gave you. No, there isn't. And the complexity of it leaves me unable to answer it. Maybe you'll find your answer. <laughs> No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is the world that we live in is not black and white. It's gray. So many different versions of gray. There are scenarios where I could see myself having to do something that drastic, and there are scenarios I could see myself standing against my own king. It, the situations are endless. The possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. But you do trust me, right? I do. That's all I wanted to make sure. <laughs> the only reason I want you to think about that, I feel like I've kind of maybe done more damage than good, was while that is something that could happen, the important thing is to think about where you are right now and what you can do. And what I can do right now is make sure Alabast doesn't suffer the same fate as Valithia. 
It certainly has a knack for getting itself into trouble. Yes, but... yes, it does. At least it's not as devastating, usually. It's not. It's also not as developed. It's also much more chaotic, and that's why we need to help bring stability. Mm -hmm. But stability in a way that works. Exactly. Do you want to play a game of chess? Uh, once again, I will reiterate, you mean lose a game of chess, and yes, I would like that. For sure. She sits down with it. A roll, just a general... I, yeah, if you have a chess set, you should okay. have one. Uh, da, 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 rolling chess. Nat 20, baby! I might win! Uh, you might. One second. Plus 10. Yeah, yeah. Oh! That's the best Nat 20 Hold ever! On. Hold on. Really it's, a, it's a tie, but I will let no! you know. No! Tie it's goes to the guy who sucks, right? Oh my god. No, no. Natural 20, so I'll give it to you. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you just, it is like neck and neck, and you do manage to be Willow at chess, even with her plus 10 modifier to chess specifically. Huh. Hmm. Willow. Yes? Did you let me win? I actually didn't. Well, I, um, good game, I suppose. Yeah. She seems kind of bewildered. The last time someone beat me in chess, it was my brother. She kind of gives you a smile. I'm sure he was very good at it. He was. But I think you're even better. She stands up. Anyway, I gotta deliver these potions to the guard station. I'll be back yes. in a little bit. Uh, um, give, give Doros my regards when he comes oh, back. Oh, I won't be seeing him today, but I will. I'll let him know. Um, and do come back, okay? I will do my best. Thanks. All right. Um, oh, and tell the others they're out and about uh, that I said thank you for everything. Remy. Yes? She walks up and she gives you a hug. Remy's going to hug her back. And thank you. Thank nice you for doing you. your best despite the circumstances. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a familiar face in a strange land. Well, some of these faces might become more familiar as time goes on. Who knows? And she kind of pokes you in the chest a little bit. That is the hope, but one step at a time. Indeed, it takes time. Yes. I got to take I'm... you to a restaurant, by the way, a really, really good one, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway. I need to have my mother cook you some Valithian food. I, oh, I love Valithian food. Does she, she do the despite what she will say, is an excellent cook. I would actually take you up for that. You know, Greckles was supposed to take me to an Elkmarian uh, restaurant, but he never did. He's been too busy. It's fine. I'm no, still I working on it. <laughs> I, I will give him a swift kick in the rear, too. Oh, don't, him. don't, 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 don't. It's fine. I'm anyway, teasing. He's... She grabs she grabs a crate. She got ching. It's fairly like, it looks like about the shoebox size, but it definitely is solid. She goes, do, do visit lunch and everything and everyone will want to see you i i will do my best i'm not exactly oh, sure what, yes tell your mother i say hello also tell her i'm borrowing her distiller for maybe about another week and also um i do like the new bottles tell her i'd like an order of those if you don't mind i i yes i will let her know you're buying supplies already well yeah I, i'm i almost am ready to start selling potions from this building i just had to start up the, st the storefront and i really actually need to get going um it was so nice seeing you remy I right. gotta go. Yes, Bye. I'm. Yes, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Click. All right. You walk out the door, and the moment you open your door, you see um, Bright, the Barchova familiar, holding a pancake in his mouth. Just nothing but a pancake. <laughs> uh, Remy, Remy is going to sidestep, slightly crack the door. He just like hops in, and then close the door. <laughs> close the door. All right. Yes. All righty. And moving on. We back in the point. Yep, you guys are all back in the tavern at this point. So they'll point. see Remy come down with this crate, I guess? No, 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 she took the Oh, crate. she took it. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's delivering it. She's yeah. like, here, just take this. Uh, Bork, can Borky not be there for one second? Can he just, can he, can he show up last? Yes, I sure. think I know why. Right, the rest of you guys. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that went oddly smooth for once in our favor. Where yeah, exactly was did you two go? Uh, schmoozing, actually. I just wanted to 
I wanted to speak with some of the representatives that were there. The mercenary groups were quite interesting. Any interesting intelligence that they could give you? Oh, I found out a lot. That's for a different night. Um, can I can I do this real quick? The, I assume you come strolling in. The door is slammed open, <laughs> and you see. What are you trying to transform into? Because it will not accurately transform you into something specific. I assume you haven't changed from the human, right? I want I want I want to be Tiengo. Oh God! Oh, okay. Why? Why? Why are you like this? Good prank. <laughs> Uh, roll a deception check for me. Fucker. <laughs> it's a good right. jinx. It's a great joke above game. In game, fuck yeah. you. Oh, that's oh, a Jesus 19. Christ, don't help him roll 20. Nice. So your deception check will determine kind of the appearance. Um, you kick in the door, and you do appear as a somewhat slightly taller Tiengo. <sighs> and immediately, all the, like, the, the sound just, like, <laughs> stops. Like the jazz music stops, except for it's like ye old timey music stops and everyone Dorky stops as and Tiengo looks. just points at Greckles. <laughs> Can we help you, sir? Greckles, roll an insight check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. Oh wait, that's something. that's uh. that's Tiengo. Yes. Bird. I think he likes you, Greckles. And, and Borky's, uh, sir, gonna, Borky's gonna run at him. Uh, Waffles, could you escort oh, this gentleman okay. out of the all building? And also, the he turns Remy's off. Remy's about to cut this dude in half. He's so many story. Every, okay, okay, okay. Oh God. Panic, roll initiative for Waffles. Borky, roll initiative, and Greckles, roll initiative. You three roll initiative. Oh, Motherfucker. No. As let me find, let me find. Are you serious? Natural right twenty. Now? Ah oh, no! Corn song? Corn. Oh, Shit! No, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Seventeen. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just gonna prank. One Greg. second. This is not a prank anymore. <laughs> this is not April. You're at, you're actually you're you are gonna get in so much. Oh corn my god. Corn time. Corn time. Corn time. Let's do it. Let's RKO him. Somebody RKO him. <laughs> oh gosh darn it! The music. <laughs> All right. Oh, natural one. Tell you All what, right. damn unexpectables boys got into some shenanigans Where? this week. <laughs> okay. You're so lucky I can't kick your ass. <laughs> okay. Waffles is going to show up first. Where the fuck is Owlbear? I can't spell. What page is Owlbear on? I can't believe you've done this. 249. Of course, I God damn it, we're you. 20 minutes over. You couldn't let <laughs> yeah, it Yeah, why did you... <laughs> I just thought it was going to be real quick. I have shit to do in the morning. <laughs> He's got pent-up energy from sitting still for the entire tribunal. It's true, I was quiet. I, I, I behaved. Uh, so Waffles comes to life. Uh, he swings with his beak to try to bite you, Borky, but actually phases through your illusion. It's going to go for a, cla like a claw attack. Uh, Wait, I have, a, I have advantage on initiative rolls. I completely forgot about that. Well, let's roll it again real quick. If you get a natural 20, though. No. No. Uh, no, so you're fine. Okay. That's a fit, That's a 25 to hit you. It, it does. That misses. I'm t angle It misses. <laughs> Good Jake. Eight. Just, it was so simple when I wanted to you do. You take 16 points of slashing damage ah! as Waffles uppercuts you. <laughs> does that drop the so illusion? Because Yeah. Hit. I think it does. The close it, 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 this guy's staff doesn't work if somebody touches you. So oh! we'll find out. Oh! I'm gonna double check the spell. It's okay. Uh, it, it can just drop. It can just drop. Uh. Okay. So now both of everybody who can, who can can make an investigation check again. Uh, investigation or insight? Uh, investigation at this okay. point. Uh, that's nine. Damn it. It's that's a, that's a seven, 17. Uh, 19. Pash nice. just sits, Pash just sits at a fucking table and doesn't give a shit. Panic and uh, Greckles, you know it's Borky at this point. Just from the voice, the moment he screams and gets hit hit by Waffles. Borky! Uh, hey, guys. I got a thing that I could do his disguise. I was just gonna scare Greckles and tickle him. Oh, oh word. wait. A little word oh. of wisdom from an illusionist, Borky. Oh. Oh, Who's my bones hurt wisely. so much. Bring me milk. 
Uh, Waffles is going to slam you onto the ground, grappling you. Roll on, roll on athletics or acrobatics of your choice against Waffles. Waffles, no! The first, the first time we try out Waffles, it's against Borky. I love it. Yeah. 24! Okay. I lost my spot, unfortunately. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alberts have a plus five to strength. Do they? Okay, good. Thank you. I just want to see if they're proficient. Uh, yeah, plus five to strength. Uh, it's a 20. So, yeah, you manage to, like, push yourself over, and then Waffles just kind of flops to the ground. And you hear Helga go, No! Waffles! Get down! You're done fighting! No blood this day. <laughs> she, like, grabs his scruff. That's uh, my job now! <laughs> <laughs> Helga, he can't... Helga, he Helga. can't hear you. He's a pelt. Uh, Bork, uh, Helga cracks her knuckles. She goes, Borky, yes. take off the cloak or take your lumps. Your choice. Bork takes off the cloak and folds it very neatly and sits down. <laughs> she gives like this nod that is both threatening and also assuring, and she gets back behind the counter as everybody else goes about their business. Borky? Got that out of your system, Borky. Borky. Why are you like this? <laughs> You know what, Remy? It's because it comes natural to me. Uh, anyway, uh, so I got this from the, the, the tribunal. Do you roll it up after you were looking at it and you're pulling I, it out again? I did roll it back up, but as soon as they okay. come back in, I'm going to show it to uh, the four of them. It's a regular sized piece of paper now, and it's blank. Oh. Says that. Huh. Do you guys see anything? No. Panic. It just you, looks like... you, you see nothing either, Panic. Oh shit. The knowledge is in me now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to explain what's going on, Panic? Um, I think it's more lies stuff. Did you remember what was written down? Yes. Um, I keep getting these weird messages. They're very cryptic, like Dust drifting directionless divine stuff like that. This time it was just a scroll that said Pyre, Obsidian, Melody, pushing back the end, and then the word Ith repeated over and over again. Rolling a history check to see if any of that makes sense. Okay. I've probably been thinking about that as well. Roll an intelligence yeah, check, panic. Uh, 13. Intelligence 21. Nice. Okay. That's a net one. Never mind. I'm not paying attention. Oh, realistic bird. <laughs> you got your drinks. You're eating. There, there, there are fritters on today. It Ooh. is very good. Fritter Ooh. Friday. Fritter mm. and curry. Well, it's like not fritters. It's like, um, what are they called? Cutlet? Cutlet and curry. Oh, oh that's nice. good. Yeah. Um, task, unfortunately, it doesn't ring any bells. And considering how, you know, isolated Eliza is. It's makes sense that you probably haven't heard about anything beyond what you guys know. As you're thinking about it, with a 21 in your visions, what did you see? Hmm. Come to think of it, I've seen several things. Not all of them in my dreams. When I got those nat 20s, when I was dueling Zarb, I saw an obsidian tower. Or something. Obsidian melody. Pushing back the end if higher. In my dreams, I saw a vast emptiness. Borky saw his bones break. I more felt that, but yeah. <laughs> You really had to be there for it. It's about all I saw is a vast emptiness. Very lonely. Pyre, obsidian, melody, pushing back the end. There were more messages. The three, the three things we get, the three things we have are Lies, ethial, and if, I'm guessing. So 
feel like you're all waiting on me to solve this. <laughs> I, well, I'm not allowed to say anything. There I'm not part of this. might not be an answer. I mean, you're yeah. saying this out loud. The rest of the party can come and think about it and talk and character. <laughs> yes, just imagine I said double vent with an accent. <laughs> Uh, and the input? It's still so very cryptic. How'd you read it if there was words on it? Well, there were words on it, but then there weren't. Crazy. We still technically have permission to go up there, don't we? Well, yes, this is our permission. Is it? Greckles hesitates greatly and sweats a little bit as Listen, there's nothing people... written there. People in the council, there were several witnesses that said that we do have permission to go up. So. Oh, if you think so. Maybe it would be worth a trip before we head back out. I think so, can, too. If we can figure out how to get back up there. Well, I could get at least two of us up there. Yes, Dolly. Hmm. Higher. Obsidian. Melody. Pushing back the end. Yes. It sounds like two different kinds of things. One, music and sound. And two, just all this obsidian and fire and... It, it sounds like devil stuff. Well, not to sound egotistical, but there is this fire nonsense going on in my chest and now I, I'm on some kind of divine ritualistic quest to find some kind of Draco uh, draconic mirror underneath the city. Possibly. But what... Hmm. Fire. Pushing back the end. <laughs> Maybe the names, the last parts, form... Hmm. Do you think... Do, uh, Obsidian... Tass snaps his fingers. Do you think this might be a clue for the door? Maybe. I don't know. This seems very specific. Do you think it was specifically targeting me? You have been seeing a lot more of what Liza's been trying to communicate than the rest. The worst case scenario would be over the course of nights while we're still in Alavast, wear the mask at night, but I don't want to put you through that. If it gets me answers, I'd be willing to go through it again. But... I actually haven't had a, had a vision yet. Maybe I should try it. Well, you did have a vision. Remember at the end of the battle? Not one that bore fruit like yours. And no offense, I, I, don't I don't believe Borky's going to want to volunteer anytime yeah, soon. I don't think mine bore fruit either, but I don't know. You could try. I will attempt so tonight. Alrighty, as you guys eat up for the day. Wait. What? Something just occurred to me. Uh oh. Something that. Something that that crown devil said, or that bearded devil rather. Said that you know whose time is coming to an end. Higher obsidian melody pushing back the end. Are we extending? Are we extending you-know-who's life? I don't know. I don't even know if that's a good idea. What would be the consequence of keeping a god from dying? I don't think that he's god anymore. More like the exact opposite. Shit. What? <laughs> I said shit. Oh, I had just heard the ant. <laughs> yeah, kind of just slightly. I said, funny, shit. Actually. I, I said shit. <laughs> it sounded like ant. Yeah. <laughs> I assume they're all staticky while they're doing this, right? Yeah, they're just like literally like... Garble, like nonsense. It just sounds like they're just saying weird rub gibberish words. Thieves like, can't. It's thieves can't. Can. You're wondering if we're you're Sims, were Sims. Were you? We're, <laughs> we're speaking in Simonian. Oh, God. <laughs> Gurpity Dorpa. Um, I, ah, I, don't, I don't mean to interrupt the four of you, but I feel like this is a good time for me to take my leave. Where are you off to? 
uh, I have something that I need to take care of, and I should really be off. Mm. So is this goodbye for now? It's not goodbye. It's I'll see you later, ideally. No, that oh. is the ideal. For what it's worth, it was an enjoyable journey with you alongside us. It was. We had some... I believe the word you use is wacky adventures. That'd be more what he what he would say. Points over to board. <laughs> uh, that is fair. That is true. But it's... Uh, Waffles is still trying to climb on top of you, though, with less enthusiasm now. <laughs> well, um, good news. It looks like for a short time I'll have my griffin back. So that's... I'm actually quite excited about that. Yeah, I'm sure Volo missed you. Yeah, I certainly missed him. Remy, if you don't mind me asking, you f you were in very sour spirits well before the tribunal, and obviously there's a reason for that. But I couldn't help but feel that you might have had something on your mind that you couldn't tell us before after the tribunal was finished. You do owe me that much, at least, Remy. We talked about that. That's true, and if not for the pressing matter at hand, I promise you I would give you an explanation. That being said, we all have various things we need to do, but Greckles, I promise you, all will be explained. Greckles wants to incite that. Okay. That just sounds dodgy. It uh, super does. So you, you feel like he's telling the truth. He has something on his mind that he wants to talk to you about, but he's willing to... Uh, he's willing to divulge. Same with you, Chris. Like, he doesn't seem like he's lying. Alright, fair enough. Mm. Borky believes Don't keep me. that information too long, then. Yes, well, let's just hope my endeavor is successful, as is yours. Good luck in Fricada, I suppose. I mm. don't know if I'll be back before you leave. Well, speaking of which, boys, stock up on silver. We're gonna need it. Also, uh, Willow might have some potions for you. I would stock up on those as well. I don't want you to go. Borky's being all weird while Waffles is nibbling his head. Waffles, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you to go, man. Like, the last time, like, everything we just went through and everything, it's just like, if you're part of this, man, but you, you're part of this crew, man. Even if you're not here all the time, you're just as equal of a part of it. I know you got your things you do with your family, with your Griffin riding crew, but know that you're always an unexpectable man. We've been through that much. You see Rebbing kind of rubbed his beak. Um, I appreciate that, Borky, more than I could probably articulate. Um, I really should go. Um, uh, best of luck to you all. And Rebbe's going to start walking out as he tries to not have that right now. See you later, Captain. Please don't call me that. <laughs> All right. And as you guys look at your plans ahead, that is where we end the session for tonight. Woo! Thank you. Yay! But before we sign off, there's seven rolls I need to make. Oh, yeah. Oh. We got to figure out if we get information. So. Low. Your percentage chance because you have two sources is higher. Okay. So, oh boy. 21 to 100% oh means failure. Anything Wait. below 21% means a success. Oh, oh, got it. So we have a 21% chance. You have a 21% chance to get information. John, so lucky you're like a D100. I never get to use these percentile dice, so this is kind of fun. 100. The first one is a 59. Okay. Uh, that's all right. Come on. Day number two is 71. Damn it. Okay. Failure. Come on. It's like Death Watch. Just roll low. Come on, lucky roll. Let's go, baby. 89. Son Damn. of a bitch. These are all really high. 37. Oh, oh so hey. close. Oh, 16. That's a success. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Hey. Got him. Woo. Now I'm going to roll. Give us for more. Uh, I guess I'll roll a couple more. Because if I roll two, then that means you get two options, essentially. That's a 23. Oh, come on! Uh, Are you sure that's not a one or a zero? Uh, last one's a 12. I'll take it! Two successes. 
There you go. All right, so two degrees of success. I would like to use my chain sword to cut the Xenos in half. Wrong unfortunately, <laughs> Shoot, the, unfortunately, you are failing your psychic test because you are tainted with the power of Slanesh. You want to rub your nipples right now. No, That's son of a bitch! With your chain sword. Have <laughs> both given information, which means there's two ways to, to start that investigation. All right. So, see if I can schedule that in at some point. If not, I might have to roll for it. We'll see. I want to try right. it out and see how it goes. Cool. Um, kind of an experiment of sorts. This is a, this is a really fun idea. It really is. Nadine. I want to try it. I want to try it and see if it works. If it doesn't, I might not do you know, it again. And is, if it does, is, then I'll just this do. Is, this is going to sound weird, but it actually reminds me of Warhammer 40k because they have kill team. They have the kill team matches where it's just a couple small things happening. It affects the bigger game later on. It's really, yeah. It's it's a really basically. Neat... More or less, like, a lot of stuff is not going to be canon, but at least it's, like, a fun way to decide how events transpired so I can focus on other things. Absolutely. Age so, of Sigmar bumped up on narrative play, and it works kind of like this, and it seems super awesome. Yeah, no, this so is... So are we, are we good with recording? We are good, bye, yeah. Austin. Right. Okay, bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Uh, real quick, uh, Bosco, can you take us through... Uh, take us do you want to do bits real quick before you go, just because I don't have access to all of them? Oh, of course, yes, real fast. Here. Yeah, do the bitch call-outs, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. 1,337 bits, dude. Bosco, undefeated <clears throat> at chess. Yes! <laughs> uh, and the professional, thank you for the prime sub. Sheep of the goddess, thank you for the six-month resub. Thank you for all the bits, guys. Uh, onward, Paladin 3 with a, a, a 1,000 bits. I have no idea what is happening. This is a weird transitional episode, by the way. If anyone's like, wow, this episode was super awkward, I'm like, yeah, because this is kind of like the middle point to, like... A lot of stuff. The, mm -hmm. like... This is where shit's gonna get pretty weird, and like in a good way though. Um, so weird. You guys are leaving Alabas though. That's We're wild. leaving the country for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Back to no so, one knowing about us. Basically, unfortunately, but hey. Oh, we're going to Canterbury Land. South of Panic's homeland. Yeah. Yo, we're going to fucking Lycanthropy Land. Hell yeah. It, it's actually great because I rolled for for where this was this place was located, and it was either Tassilon Jungle, Tricadia, Periton, uh -huh. and um, Boulder, the Dwarven capital. Oh, so was, that would have been so cool. That's Alton. That's right next to Valithia. Fuck. Yeah. So this, those are the four things, and I got Tricadia. So I was like, okay. Periton would have been rough. I'm like, oof. Oh, God. That yeah, would have been like. Can we, oh, that, uh, like, can we do that at level 10, please? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, if I get, if I get Periton, this is like, who they have to sneak in and sneak out. Panic can sing no. the song of his people? You mean like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Uh -huh. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. No thanks. I don't, just don't mind me. I'm just going to grab my stuff and leave. Thank you, please. I'm just, I'm really pissed off that I missed the Ravenloft arc. I'm sorry. Um... By the way, Bosco, we'll see you soon. I know you have to leave us for a little while, so... Yeah, but it'll be quick. We'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I was getting really worried there for a minute. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, Bosco's kind of like... Really he's quasi no, 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 no. You'll, you'll, see, you'll see me when you see me. Yeah, he's quasi-permanent, but yeah, no, this should be this should be a uh, decent... I like thing. that title! Remy, the quasi permanent. Guys, we've already we've already <laughs> established this. I am the pumpkin spice latte of the unexpectables. Yeah, yeah you that's come back and put it. all the time, and it's fucking amazing. And then everyone thinks you're a meme afterwards. Exactly, so... meme is Corbon. <laughs> I will, I will say this: if you guys could, over the course of this next following week, give me an outline of what you would like to buy. Any small things you want to do, nothing major, obviously. Yeah. Uh, as you guys prepare, because next session we're going to start you guys off is walking in on that teleporter to see what's going to happen to you. So, uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work for me. That's fine. Oh boy, it would be fun work though, won't it? You're right. You're right. Oh, It'll money. be a lot more fun than the political stuff I had to quote unquote write. I had to Google politics for toddlers because I had no idea what I was doing. Oh. Monty, for for what it's worth, I think you did a very good job. Yeah, you did. did. Mm -hmm. There's no, like, you really would have to have fucked up there. Like, I'm like, they literally, Borky would have to, like, run into the middle of the room and ripped off his shirt and, like, pooped on the floor or something for you guys to get a <laughs> real problem. I mean, obviously, you can say, like, the wrong thing, but the evidence you guys managed to collect, the way that you guys were very careful about your information, the way that you've interacted with other people in the past, you guys were pretty good to go. You had a lot of people who trust and relied on you because you did the work and you guys were good guys. So I'm just I'm just curious. If we didn't have that evidence, 
like what and was then the most outcome? of them would have been against us probably yeah you would so have maybe could... had you maybe would have had a prisoner like Lionel. you maybe would have had just like your you know face value um basically like was the, would... we probably would have had to let a lot more stuff slip than we yeah had to. i was about to say barring barring us completely botching it like could we have been accused as being associated with the United clergy? No, but you could have been associated with potentially trying to undermine certain aspects of, like, the actual, you know, the way jobs are done. So, like, uh, okay. Undermining the Alavastian legal authority? Why, when would we ever do that? Perish the thought! <laughs> I know. <laughs> Basically, they would maybe think that you guys were up to something, um, or at least working on trying to... They would think we're the not. spies! Yeah. <laughs> That could have been the other thing of some sort of like, you know, it could, there's so many things it could have done, but the moment you guys had that evidence, like, okay, this is going to make that like a lot easier. Right. You had all your evidence from LA Noir to present a proper case. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think Curtis got up and left. So. All right. Well then I will handle this. That's fine. Monty, while you're talking, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at, uh, sorry, I'm just typing at the moment. Um, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow, art stream of taking commissions. Um, most hey. of them going towards picking up stuff for a cat, potentially. I have to contact the breeder. She hasn't gone back to me. Yeah. Um, so we're working on that. Uh, so yeah. And then either Friday or Sunday, I'm going to be doing more, uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. I'm going to position where the game is now not painful which is good it's a beautiful game it's gorgeous and the soundtrack is amazing um at least you'll be up so second. yeah i want to beat it like i'm like I've, i'm kind of on this kick where i'm like i really just want to play a game and beat it like that's kind of what i want to do and i used to do that back when i would be done graduating at schools i would try and beat a game every time so um and yeah you can find me at monty blue on twitter i'll be posting various things um uh, just kind of randomly over the course of time uh, and I will be in the Unexpectables Discord. For those of you guys who have still have not joined the Discord, what are you doing? There was a log invasion on April Fool's Day. It was amazing. Yeah, well, I don't know what. Shout somebody out. got a hold of my everything, because I would never say praise Oriara. All right. Um, so you guys have not checked out the Discord? Check out the Discord. I do Q&A in there. I'm, I'm kind of behind. I'll try and catch up here. Uh, we have discussions. We have a live chat. We have fan art that's submitted there. Come make fun of me, guys! Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, Don't agree with so if me. You guys, you guys want to check that out? Uh, definitely check it out. Zito, where can they find you? All right, now that I'm not frazzled, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Tomorrow, I've been waiting for this for a good long while. Tomorrow is going to be Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Yeah. Hell well, yeah. yeah. Wibbly wobbly boys and punching all over the place. Uh, Friday, we have a lot of options to go through. We can either have Risk of Rain, Baba is You, Darkest Dungeon Mods, Sekiro, or the new Dead Cells update. I have a lot of indie <laughs> games to go through. Uh, <laughs> and over the weekend, yeah, I will find some time to work on my, uh, which is account of uh, Unbefitting Hellspawn, which I've been showing off uh, a lot of player races to, for people to check out. Uh, that will be in the works, so if you want to swing by and check that out, that'd be cool. Uh, I do have one more thing I would like to say. Uh, speaking of races to try out, I made a 4 a.m. Uh, joke post saying, Hey, you guys want to play Slugs? And then people said, Fuck yeah, we do. And I'm like, Alright, fuck it, I made it. On my Twitter, on uh, Twitter slash CZ Backlash, you could find the Malu, which are Slug and Snail people, to playtest. Please give me feedback, and I can make it something real on DMs Guild. You madman. I can't believe you've done this. Gaijin, while you're talking, why don't you keep on telling them where they can find you? Uh, you can find me here at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin. Uh, we've been playing a whole lot of Sekiro. I've been sitting here contemplating whether or not I want to continue it, because it's a very hard game to stream. Um... But we're getting kind of close to the end. The closure would be good. Uh, off screen, I've been getting really, really far into it. I'm at the last fight, actually. So you know what? I think we'll try and go ahead and continue it just to wrap it up. I'd hate to leave it undone, especially after I hyped it so much. Uh, aside from that, dude, Pocky and Rocky 2 still haunts me to this very day. Just because I was so close to beating it and didn't. And, you know, it's Pocky and Rocky and it's me. So 
If not that, I would love to give that game another crack. Oh, I also, yeah. Ooh, also, oh. I also, I also have, I also have, uh, fr I, I have a model kit of Frames Arms Girls, or Frame Frame Arms Girls. Some of you may have heard of that. Basically, put um, adorable Moe girls uh, mixed with Gundam, and that's pretty much what you got. I've been very, very tempted to try to do an assembly stream because I've seen a lot of these similar art streams. A lot of you guys have been doing, and they've been really interesting. So I'm like, eh, maybe I'll give it a shot. Hmm. Very nice. Fun so, nice. Yeah, it's me. Connor, stop being so loud and tell them where they can find you. Uh, they can well, find me on Twitter at CNL Snake, and they can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I run my own uh, WWE 2K19 wrestling stream, uh, RIW Roll Initiative mm. Wrestling. I've got a bunch of uh, really great matches on there so far. I'm really excited. And the next pay per view, Power Word Slam, is coming up in two weeks. That's a good name. It's <laughs> a very good name. Um, other than that, we've got Friday Funhouse, where I uh, Fridays we just play a bunch of random games with a bunch of friends, and Saturday and Sunday are my Witcher Three streams. We Connor, are slowly. Connor, uh -huh. Connor we got to play Risk of Rain together one day. We should. We should play Risk of Rain together someday. It's a good uh, ass game. Kurt, are you here? I am. Yes. Uh, where can they find you? Here. Cool. Awesome. Uh, MNW find... is rolling tomorrow yes. night. Uh, of course, we have another uh, fantastic uh, fan art stream, 3 o'clock, PST on Friday, and we'll have yes, some we more fun M&W later that night, and probably some M&W right before NXT TakeOver. Yeah, baby. It'll be a lot of fun, and although we're currently in the Inquisition arc, the multiverse, multiverse Inquisition has claimed two victims. Big Vacant is dead, and so is Black Hole. They, they got not feeling so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> a lot of fun and the ch I've been told by his representative the champ will be there to have a celebration of him will he really yeah man I've missed him he hasn't been around for a while <sighs> alright well that being said you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and then right here at twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco typically you've seen me throw the sports ball stuff around a whole bunch I would love to play some Jackbox because I think that's really good to stream with uh, just fans and stuff like that also, I owe Monty a game of Portal, which I haven't played in forever. So we need to figure that out. So stay tuned for that. Check my Twitter for information about all that. That being said, we need to raid somebody. If I can make a personal suggestion. Also, real quick, uh, there was an amazing episode title that I would like to pitch. It's compliments of the chat. Uh, they said it was Law and Orin, which I thought was very clever. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, I also down. saw... Uh, uh, courting danger but i really like law and orin law and orin's, law and orin's good. good any objections nope i'm good all, I like all right it. I law like and orin it. it is good job guys you did it the, uh the hey nice, kirk the, is there any ch what the nicest thing about this session now is a lot of the orin clergy is now in the hands of the council so now it's the less oh, out of yeah. your guys's hands so you can yeah! not worry about uh, them as much considering yeah. that tracadia is the land of vampires and lycanthropes can we raid octopimp who's playing vampire the masquerade oh that, that's yeah good. yeah i feel like this good. is just he messaged, good... he messaged me today i ended up not utilizing something he sent me so i should probably message him before we raid him okay we're Do raiding it. him there we go uh, guys, uh, thank you. Read him with like some. Thank you. Re, re him. Re, re or re. Bring the waz, the rees, whatever you got, folks. Thank you. Whatever you got, so the raws, the wees, the wogs. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye.